What's gamers. good? Gaming. All right. We are, gamers. we are gamers and we are gaming. How is uh chat is is everyone loud enough? I think we're loud are enough. Are we loud enough? To OBS, okay. But, uh I don't know. My that's sound is fucked up one hundred and ten percent of the time. You know, that's valid. <laughs> Alright, Nariko's good with it. What's up, Snow? What's up, Nariko? How's everyone? Alright, yeah, today? we got oh snow. Oh, God, lemon. The water is so loud. <laughs> oh yeah, Hold I on. turn my game audio way down. Yeah, the water volume especially, I think. Yeah, though that's that's the piss sound. Down. Yes. It's the piss down to match your your Discord icon. Yeah. Yeah. Everything else was fine. I just like put my headphones <laughs> on. Piss at maximum volume. Do the water, and I'm like, geez, that was that was like a bass boosted video from the early 2000s. <laughs> what the hell? All right, so. Say hello, chat. We have a friend. I told you guys I have friends. Yesterday I said I have friends. They said no, you don't. <laughs> Damn, that's crazy. <laughs> that's crazy. I said I do. Sometimes just my friends are in the computer. We do be having friends. I, we, yeah, do be we, having do, friends. we do be having friends. Are you? You like like a bunch of collabs this week out here socializing. Yeah, I know. I didn't realize <laughs> I had that many, and then I'm like, damn, I agreed to like everything. So we're out here. That's good. All right, yes. and this is this your first time playing the Power Rush? Oh, what's up, Nariko? Yeah, I have never uh, played Power Wash Sim. I just downloaded it after work <laughs> an hour ago. Oh god, well, it's pretty intuitive. You point and click, just like pissing in real life. Yeah, that's how you do it. <laughs> you I mean, I, I I assume everyone knows that anime girls don't piss. Oh, that's true. I yeah. guess that means I don't piss. That's really unfortunate. I mean, I think anime girls, like, uh, like, pissing is optional. You could piss if you want to. Like, it's a business decision. Like, you could piss if you decide you want to sell it. Wait, does that mean you don't want to? No, I don't want to. What the heck? You're missing out. Alright, maybe I'll try pissing at least once in my life. Yeah, I would recommend it. It's, it's honestly worth the experience. It's the experience? Yeah. Alright, I'll have to try pissing at least once. Yeah, you haven't lived if you haven't pissed, that's what I always say. I mean, I guess that's kind of true, because or when babies are born, they, like, piss. It's, like, the first thing you do when you become alive. Yeah, you either cry or you piss, usually both <laughs> at the same time. It's my, just like my life. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's the, Me when that's I get the home. thing. Like, because babies, babies don't do shit. Like, babies do three things, and it, that's cry, shit, and piss. True. <laughs> Eventually, we all return to baby. Yo, yeah, speaking of piss, welcome to the piss crew. Oh shit! I thought yeah. it was the pit crew. It is. Is that the typo? It's also the piss crew. <laughs> yeah. Are those, are those, typo. Are those, yeah, are those yep, separate yeah. entities or? Yeah, definitely just pit? a typo. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Yep, Good yep. to know. Yeah. What? <laughs> Wait, let me. I'm going to play this stream in the shower speakers. Do not play this stream in the shower speakers. I don't want to be in your shower. What the fuck? I want to be in your shower. Go for it. <laughs> All right. I guess we have consent. How much anyway, we never really like introduced. Oh yeah, ourselves. we just we just started pissing. We just started like yeah, pissing. I mean, for what real? better way? Yeah, you wanna you wanna yeah. say you wanna say a few words. Yeah, sure. What's up, gamers? I'm Ezra Andromeda, Rocorp's fast and funny non-binary burb, and uh, I say piss a lot, <laughs> so this game is kind of perfect. Uh, uh, nice yeah, to I meet love everyone. It. Okay, I'm Amanda. I'm your Lord of Darkness. I'm uh, very evil, and don't let anyone tell you otherwise. <laughs> I perform, I I perform evil deeds. Lately. I perform evil deeds, like pissing. Yeah, what's the most evil thing you've done in the past uh, 48 hours? In the past 48 hours, um, murder. <laughs> oh, understandable. That Very is pretty well. Evil, evil well, actions. No, I I, I'm kidding. Uh -huh -huh. To all the feds listening, I would never I, murder. I guess you can't just write that off as evil. Like, did they, did they deserve it? No. <laughs> oh, okay. Then yeah, that's. I'm also evil. currently like at this at this very moment doing tax evasion. Because there is a W-2 oh, in a drawer next to me that I just haven't looked at. 
Yo, same. Mood. <laughs> I just got it. Because I'm. Oh yeah, I'm also doing extortion right now. Like at this exact moment. Oh, how are you doing extortion? How does that work? Um, I'm ex I'm extorting my friend Lemon. Uh, they have been editing my shorts and clips and shit, and um, oh, I'm not I'm not paying. Them. Ah, yeah, that is extortion. They Kinda agreed. They agreed to it. Okay. They also made me feel bad because they were like, "Can I take weekends off?" I was like, "I'm literally not your boss. Do whatever you want." <laughs> Excuse me, ma'am. Can I please have weekends off? May I have a well, sliver? I've had people offer to like make art for free, and I'm like, first of all, I would yeah, prefer yeah. to pay you, and second of all, please don't feel bad for not finishing yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I have the same problem. So it's just, just hard like, being such a niche internet micro celebrity. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Oh, it's tab. That's how I do it. That's how I turn the dirt into piss so I can see where <laughs> it is. Turn the dirt into... Yeah. Hey, what the fuck is wrong with your piss if it's that color? You need to uh... hydrate. Your piss should be clear. I don't know. I don't be drinking water. Why not? Drink water. It's good for you. Hey, Amma, how cause... tall are you? Five foot on the dot. Oh, y'all are the same height. That's crazy. Really? Yeah, yeah, Ezra's thumbnail is wildly inaccurate, by the way. I don't, I don't know. So. I don't know how tall you are, but it's definitely not like three times my height. I I guarantee. No, nah, I'm pretty sure it is. Your cannon I'm height sure. is 15 feet tall. Nah, oh. my cannon height is uh, five nine. You just you know. <laughs> just gotta, I'm, I'm, I'm on my. I'm on my. Just a small <laughs> exaggeration. Yeah. There is towering over us. No, look at them on the screen. They're just a, a tiny, a tiny little creature. <laughs> it transforms into piss. 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 The so the true. transition is is so aggressive. <laughs> I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Yeah, it's pretty good. I think that was actually the first art i ever received oh my god what, what the, an uh, honor the piss art, the piss art? Yeah. oh my god the first fan art i ever got the first one i feel like the first fan art i ever got i think it was like that valentine's day picture someone drew me like Ooh. giving them valentine's chocolate <laughs> oh nice i was like i've made it voluntary i've made it gift. yeah I guess that's the thing, right? Like, people can draw you however they want. You can you can make requests, but you can't really stop them. The lewds. This is very yeah. true. I haven't been extremely looted yet, to my knowledge. Maybe someone has it in their personal files. Bruh. The fi that file labeled homework on their desktop is just full of Amanda Lord of Darkness lewds. Honestly, that's how you know you won. Oh god. Someday. Fingers crossed. I wish I knew how to art. I draw some messed up stuff. I mean, what's stopping you? You can learn. There's like one quadrillion uh, art tutorials. Yeah, art is a time investment. But it's it's fun it's a fun flex. I can loot you if you truly wish. That's your prerogative, all right? I didn't say... I I want this on the record. I did not say I want lewd art. I just said, if you want to make lewd art, I can't, I can't physically stop you. <laughs> no, I think you might have said that you want lewd art of yourself. That is, that is definitely not what I said. No, I think that might have been what you said. Oh. What kind of art do you want, then? Memes, shit post. Yo, true. Sam. <laughs> shit, shit post. I love shit posts. Oh, shit post is peak. Like, you can just draw me as like a, a little creature. Like, that's the ideal. That's 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 peak. All right, I gotta parkour onto this kiosk roof here. Hell yeah. There's a ladder. Nah. 
Nah, are you flying? Ezra's special ability. The power, the power of flight. Mini golf you unlock flying? Like, when you get enough money, can you, like, buy a jetpack? <laughs> can you buy flying? Not to my knowledge. You can just buy That's different- kind of You can just buy different power washers. Have you ever power washed something in real life? I have not. Oh, you're missing out. Have you? I have. How do you, like- I don't even know where to, like, go to buy power washing Like, equipment. Home Depot just, or Lowe's. They just, like, sell it at Home Depot? Yeah, because my- my dad- can, like, My dad has a power off. washer, he just- I mean, it's not that powerful. There's, like, industrial-level power washers, and then there's ones you can just buy. Like, my dad bought one, he uses it on his car. Well, yeah, but, like, if you're gonna do something, do it- do it the correct way. Get the industrial one, take your skin off. Never let him know skin, your Skin move. removal machine. No, yeah. I already have one of those. But it's just not a power washer. If you're gonna remove your skin, you shouldn't, like, waste water to do it. There's lots of other ways. Well, water's like an infinite resource. It'll rain, probably. Do you know? On where do, you, do you know how much water is polluted? Like, water is an infinite resource, but not, not clean water. Well, that's true, but if you're taking your skin off, you don't much care whether it's clean or not. Because your skin's gonna be gone. You get an infection. Well, yeah, but you're already removing your skin. Yeah, and? <laughs> so it doesn't I don't, matter. I don't like... want an infection when I unzip my skin and reveal my true form. What were you? Were you? Were you assuming so. that if I remove my skin, I would die? I mean, that is typically what happens. I guess I can't say for sure. I've never tried to remove my skin. I mean, maybe you would die. I'm just built different. Oh, I see. I would I, just I live see. without oh, my my skin, saying. like the attack, yeah. attack on Titan. You're just better. I'm just better. Got it. Better, faster, stronger. And this mini golf course is fucked up. Yeah, what did they do here? Like, Nuclear did bomb. Did someone get really mad? Yeah, someone shat Mango? all over it. Yeah, like what? <laughs> Vandalism. Oh, it's cute though. I cannot remember the last time I played mini golf. I feel like even if we clean this entire thing up and they reopen it, it's still gonna be like a health hazard. Like this should should really just be torn down. Yeah, that's the sequel to Power Wash Simulator. Is like demolition simulator. I forgot the word for demolition for a sec. Demo demol yeah. demolition simulator. Or like repossession simulator. <laughs> repossession simulator. Like, uh, hello, I'm from the bank. Here to... You defaulted on your loans. Time to die. Yeah. Have you ever seen Repo at the Genetic Opera? I have not. Oh, it's it's this, like, crazy movie. It's not good, but it is insane. It's like, they oh, have this sci-fi universe where you can, you can, like, everyone, there's, like, an epidemic of organ failures, right? So everyone's organs are failing. Mm -hmm. And there's this company that can give you new organs, but it's really expensive. So if you can't afford it, you, like, take out a loan. And then if you can't pay it because you're, like, poor and in a dystopian society, they'll repossess it. But, like, it's your organs, so you die. And there's this guy called the Repo Man, and he lurks around the corner and steals your organs. And it's a musical. Um, <laughs> it's, uh, I, I wasn't ready for that last statement. Uh, what? It's called Repo at the Genetic Opera. It's like a rock opera. Like, it's all in song. Uh, Paris okay. Hilton is in it. Oh, okay. It's a fucking what? wild ride. You should just leave this movie. I'm I'm so... Okay, I kind of need to see this. That's kind of... That's kind of... Oh, my kind of weird. Although, I looked up recently the main actress, and I was wondering, because she's not a very good singer for the main actress of a, a, like a rock opera that's entirely in song. And I looked her up, and the only thing she's done since then is, like, make Critical Role fan songs. Ah. I was like, wow, she really was the leading role in one terrible movie and then resorted to making fan content for the rest of her life, as far as I know. I don't That's know if, or if... I don't know that much about Critical Role. I don't know if it's anywhere near as lucrative as, like, the FNAF fan song. Because those are... Those are where you get the big bucks. That's true. Oh my god. 
And I got a- I, I stream of mine got copyrighted for playing I Kid You Not, like, three seconds of a FNAF fan song. Those FNAF fan song writers will come for your fucking kneecap. They're worse than Disney. That's actually wild. Well, do you see that thing about Persona 3? That Atlas was basically like, you can stream it, they just did, like, complete- complete free reign they're like there's no there's not really a content limitation on sharing but then like only one of the songs but the background music for like the whole game is like copyrighted and no what? other person no other persona music will get you a copyright flag i've been playing tons of persona music on my streams for like two years but this one specific song in persona 3 that's like the, the main background music for the overworld will get you copyrighted that's wild. I don't even understand that. Yeah, I don't get it. I wonder if it's one of those scam things. It pr it almost has to be, right? Yeah, I don't think Atlas would do that. Although, you know, I've said that before, and then they pull some dumb shit, so... JK Atlas, please sponsor me. I, I love Atlas Game Company. They're Definitely my favorite company. Game company of all time. One of the game companies of all time. Without a doubt. Without a doubt. Incredibly, incredibly powerful entity, though. The chokehold they have on me. Yeah, you play one game and then it's over for you. What is Unless, your favorite right now? Like, my favorite Atlas game? Yes. I mean, it's been Persona 4 Golden for like six years, and I've, I've yet to play one I like more. Although I feel like a lot of it is nostalgia, because I played that game when I was like 13. It ruined my That's life forever. Fine. But also I do think it's it has like the, it's, it has like the best characters of all the Persona games. Okay, I, 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 you can weigh in your opinion. Me and Lemon and a mystery person were thinking of making a video that's like the top 10 fruitiest Mega 10 games. I like it. I like it. So, I think it's. What's your input on which is the fruitiest Mega 10 game? Top 10 fruitiest Mega 10 games. Because I feel like number one has got to be Persona 4 because there's only like one straight member of the investigation team, and it's Teddy. That's true. Um... <laughs> I feel like you could make the case for Catherine full body, but that's not really Mega 10. Yeah, it's, it is debatable whether or not that's Mega 10, but if you include it, it is, it is quite fruity in some ways. It, that game is weird because part of it is like aggressively heterosexual. But then a lot of it isn't. Truly an Atlas moment. Yeah. Imagine being too afraid yeah, to the, be the unabashedly gay. Yeah. I'm doing uh, I'm doing a Fem C I'm doing the Fem C playthrough of uh Ooh. of Persona 3 and Oh my god, sorry, one second. Uh, the, of Persona 3, and they have all these lines that are added to conversations when you're playing as the female protagonist, because, uh, are you getting an echo on mine? I hear an echo. I don't think so. I hear my own voice. Oh, huh. now it's gone. Is it part? Wait. Hello? Uh -huh. Hello, hello. Oh, now it's gone. That's weird. But anyway, I'm doing like a fancy playthrough of Persona 3, and they have all these clearly added lines, mostly from Junpei, because Junpei will be like, Bro, that girl is so hot, or whatever. And then at the end of the conversation, there'll be a line that's just like, I guess you're not interested in girls, though. I'm like, no, uh... I am. Yeah, Junpei uh, really bold cucking of you to me. assume Junpei. Junpei, Junpei's wild, and... It's like they just add it. It's the way they adapt any of those conversations is really funny because they're completely unchanged from what's supposed to be two guys like talking, but they just add a line that's like, "But you're not interested," and then the conversation ends. 
Bruh. Like, Junpei really just out here making assumptions. Junpei is not an ally. Yeah. Kinda up. I don't know, I feel like Junpei would be willing to learn, but he's just, he's just uneducated. He's just yeah, operate. he's just making, it. he's making assumptions. You know, he's, he's got, he's got a lot of biases, but I feel like he could work through them if given the time and the proper education. Yeah, I could fix him. Oh wait, someone in my chat says Teddy is actually not afraid to smooch a guy from the King's Game scene. You're kind of right. And like, Teddy do be a little, a little gender non-conforming. That's true. All right, That's I guess. I, I, I mean, Persona. Know. I feel like there's no arguing that Persona Four is the fruitiest. It's just a matter of figuring out the other nine. Yeah. Hmm. Definitely, all the Persona games have a little bit of fruit. Like a little, a little ones. bit of fruit. Yeah, I wouldn't want to make it just a Persona list. Is the top 10 yeah. fruitiest Persona games are just like Persona 4, Persona 4 Dancing All Night, Persona 4 Arena, Persona 4 Arena Ult. <laughs> oh, what the fuck yeah. other Persona spin-offs are there? I don't even know. They just get they just kept getting fruitier as the as the series went on with the Persona 4 spin-offs. Oh god, something just made a vine boom. Oh shit. Nariko, thank you for the twenty dollars. Thank you for making an offering Yo, to your Lord of crew. Darkness. This crew this I, crew is showing I up. Also just, yeah, I also just got a a vine boom. Oh let's go. I, I just want to say the vine boom is the vine boom is completely unrelated. Both of us independently made our alert sound the vine boom. <laughs> Yeah, it's just a really good sound. It's I just, mean, it's, it's, just, it's, it's yeah. hard to beat the Vine Boom. No, it's completely impossible to beat the Vine Boom. It just conveys emotions that words can't. Yeah. There are some things that can only be expressed with a Vine Boom. That's what I'm saying. It expresses so many things. Shock, surprise, joy, uh, anger, <laughs> violence. Oh damn, we're going cha-ching cha-ching. Yeah, we're getting that money. I don't know what it does, but we're getting it. You buy stuff with it. You don't know what money does? Well well yeah, but like <laughs> how where do you where do you buy it? Is there is there like a hot dog machine somewhere? No, like a, if like you a, a vendor? No, there's a store in the menu. Press oh, press word. open the menu and go to shop. Oh shit, hello from Italy. What the fuck? Mamma oh, mia, I cook up? a pizza. <laughs> I feel like it's gonna leave now that I said that. <laughs> My ability to offend anyone from Europe is so powerful. As soon as anyone says they're from anywhere in Europe, oh. I can think of something to instantly offend them. It's one of my many- So you can buy, like, drip. I yeah, see. it's one of my many evil abilities, is insulting European people. Honestly, yeah. That's fair. I mean, they deserve it, though. Sometimes. Most of the time. Yeah, most of the time. Imagine living in the future and also in the wrong time zone. Yeah. In any time zone that's not He said goodbye from Italy. Damn. <laughs> what's what's goodbye in Italian? Is it ciao? Do they say that? Or is that like Probably. French? No, that's definitely Italian, unless it's not. <laughs> It definitely is, unless it's not. Yeah. It I'm... either is or isn't. I mean, 50-50 odds. You know, I yeah, I mean, like, literally everything and every word that could ever be uttered by a, by anyone in existence either is Italian or isn't. Yeah, you really have 50% chance on, on that bet. Oh, Narco said it can be used as a casual way to say bye on the phone in French and a lot... Yeah, but in a lot of European countries. Oh, double whammy. Ah, so it can be both. Also, I have apparently terrible pronunciation in any language that isn't English, so I'm sure I said it terribly. Honestly, oh, and that, same they say though. ciao is goodbye. We also use it so. Oh, shit, they say arrivederci. I've heard that before. I've heard that. Yeah, like, I don't know where. In my life. Like, yeah, I've heard it at least once. 
And it's like, I thought I had pretty good Spanish pronunciation until I got roasted last time I said any word in Spanish. Fair. <laughs> I, I thought I was pretty I okay, because I've taken a lot of Spanish languages. classes. I'll, like, learn to read other languages, oh, but you'll never, cool. I'll never be caught dead speaking them. Hold, I want to get back into learning on. Japanese. So oh I can, my like... god, learning Japanese. Konnichiwa. I'm obsessed with that clip of the the lady at the Xbox thing. You know, Sarah from Xbox? Yeah. Konnichiwa Mini-san. Xuboxu no Sarah Des. I'm obsessed with the way she talks. <laughs> I need to send you something, if you remind me. It's, um... <laughs> It's a Japanese ad for one of the Better Call Saul seasons. What? <laughs> Japanese yeah. Better Call? Oh my god. Where you they have Saul attempting to <gasps> speak. That's amazing. Uh, I want to see that. And it's like the worst thing of all time. I've seen there's it's some perfect. there's some ads for I think it's like Universal Studios Japan where Steven Spielberg is doing the ad and he's like Konichiwa Steven Spielberg deaths. <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> Uh, uh, white men, white men so speaking much. Japanese is my favorite genre of comedy. It's definitely one of them. It's so unintentionally funny. Incredible. It's pretty incredible. Yeah. Although you know, white women are just as bad, I guess. White women. Yeah, I was gonna say there's white women that, jump like, scare. series of there's that series of TikToks. Um, oh, where it's like, TikTok. it's like the white girl that plays Roblox and she acts like she's fluent in Japanese <laughs> and is very not. That's actually so funny. People on TikTok have so much confidence. Like, TikTokers feel no shame, I think. Yeah, something about downloading that app and making, like, videos with yourself in it just just causes you to, <laughs> Brain cells to lose any self-awareness immediately. Anytime I see anything from TikTok, I'm like, thank fucking god I never got into that shit. <laughs> and not even just, like, the people on it are bad, it's just the algorithm is so fucked up that you'll spend, like, hours on it and I can't. I log okay. on to upload shit posts and then I log off and that is it. Yeah, I've recently been consuming YouTube shorts, but that's that's important research, okay? For yeah. for going viral on the algorithm. Mm -hmm. The algorithm is wild. I'll post a tick uh not a TikTok, I'll post a short and it'll get like two thousand views, and then the next day I'll post a short at exactly the same time, and it'll get like one view. I'm like, okay, I guess yeah, it's too high. Like, no I have the same problem. Mysterious entity, which is a shame because I think the one I posted the day before is funnier, but no one saw it. Uh, it's also no one cares about Blue Exorcist except for me. <laughs> I um, I I can't say I know what that is. Blue Exorcist, like the manga and or anime. Nope. Um, nope. Don't Never. don't Never don't. Oh my it. god, you're untainted. Don't watch the anime. It's fucked up. Read the manga. It's All nice. right. Um. <laughs> what, what is it? Uh, it's like a shonen manga, but it's like really good. All right. All right. The the one cent. Okay, you've got the main character, right? His name his mm. name is his name is Rin, and right. he. He is the son of Satan, which is like the edgiest, coolest shit ever. I have the mentality of like a 13 year old boy. That shit is epic. And Understandable. so he's he's the son of Satan. So he's like straight up just a demon. But then he goes to exorcism school to exercise other demons and it causes controversy. Mm, so some people hate uh... him. It's like. Here's the thing, it's one of those, like, generic- it kind of- I feel like when you say it like that, it sounds generic, but it goes in, like, a really unexpected direction. And the anime is extremely fucked up, it doesn't follow the manga at all, it's like a Tokyo Ghoul situation where they messed it up really bad. Well, at least the first season, the second season is, like, a retcon. Wait, is this Blue Exorcist I just got back? Wait a minute, what's up, Freckle? What's up, Ice Cold <laughs> Is this sky? Blue Exorcist? Of course back. it's Blue Exorcist. Don't yeah, you know you're talking to the queen of Blue Exorcist? There is no one in this world who knows more about Blue Exorcist than me. 
Amanda, Lord of Blue Amanda, Exorcist. Lord of Blue Exorcist, exactly. That was almost my username. Why isn't it? Actually, you can always change it. I guess so. Re guys, I'm having a rebrand. I'm having a re-debut. I'm now the, the, the Lord of Blue Exorcist. Who are you also? What is Blue Exorcist? This is Amanda, Lord of I'm Darkness. Amanda, Lord of Darkness. Blue Exorcist is uh, a, a piece of media that I'm learning about. It's it's excellent. All all I all I really picked up on was that apparently someone gets canceled for exercising demons and he doesn't get that's canceled. Not that far out of <laughs> I mean, I guess he gets a little controversial canceled. And like that's kind of the same thing, maybe. It's not controversial because he got canceled. It's controversial because he's a demon and there's people at his school all like everyone at his school wants to exercise demons because it's the exorcist school and they're like, You're a oh. demon. <laughs> But then some people are like, yeah, he's a demon, but he he's a nice he's a nice boy. Well, yeah, yeah they canceled him for being a demon, obviously. <laughs> yeah, I guess he got a little bit canceled. Like there are yeah, things you can player. cancel him. I don't know. He's pretty he's pretty he's pretty unproblematic fave. I don't think Ren is very cancelable. Some of the other characters though, woof. They are cancelable. Like there's always controversy on Blue Exorcist Twitter, which is a very small group of people, but I am there. And there is always controversy about this one character. Everyone's always trying oh, to wow. cancel him. And then some people are like, no, he's the best character. What did he do? Um, many, many things. I see. He did t where, where do I begin with the list of things this character has done? Like, I could probably fill a page with just how many times he's, like, shot the main character. Hmm. He just- he's just chillin'. The priest is his- is the, his dad is the best character. Have you read the manga? Have you read the manga, or are you going off the anime? Oh, me? I've never heard of it No, no, right not- now. not you, Nariko is, is leaving a call. Ah. Nariko said, the priest slash his dad is the best character. But do you know the deep- the deep lore? Because Blue Exorcist really goes off the fucking deep end a little bit. Like, it, it starts... It's, it starts out... Um, like, pretty, pretty generic anime moment. They're just like, he's a demon, but he's gonna do exorcism. Like, it's very... It's very, like, Vampire Knight, where it's like, he hunts vampires, but he's also a vampire, and thus angst occurs. It starts out that way, and then you go off the complete deep end, and it's like, you get into, like... Like, so many of the characters turn out to be clones... It's fucking wild. What, the, what in the Kingdom Hearts? Yeah, Blue Exorcist gets weirdly sci-fi really fast. <laughs> There's a lot of they call it in the in the in the universe they call it like magical science, but it's really just like weird cloning. It is very Kingdom Hearts now that you mention it, but it makes a lot more sense. <laughs> I don't know what? shit about Kingdom Hearts. Actually, one piece of media. Kingdom Hearts is like twenty pieces of media, and some of them are discontinued. I don't know that much about Kingdom Hearts. Oh, I know from... enough about it because I'm Kingdom Hearts' biggest hater. Biggest hater? Whoa. Why? Yeah. Why are you such a hater? Is it bad? It's not good. Really? Many people will disagree with you. This is a controversial thing. I know, hate. and I'll, I'll fight them at Denny's or Waffle House. They can choose. <laughs> I'm so glad you're providing options. It's very polite of you. Yeah. I'm on this. I'm on the stairs. This seems like a really dangerous mini golf course. I do think this place should be shut down. It probably yeah. has like this shit is probably like black mold. It's probably poisonous to get into. Yeah, I, mean, I, I was saying like this is a biohazard. Yeah, I mean look like, how we're really dressed. Shouldn't be opened. Yeah. I've seen professional power washer guys with like, power washing stuff, and they do not dress like this. They just wear like jeans. It's probably so the game devs didn't have to like try to animate faces. Or like have character customization you yeah just buy oh that would be fun i would love to make like a fucked up anime girl to wash yeah, true. Power. <laughs> like uncanny valley looking ass power yeah, washer. Like final fantasy 15 type customization where i just make like a fucked up creature with massive eyes honestly yeah when's the power wash sim mmo happening oh my god power wash sim online it's like a big open world. <laughs> just the, the filthiest world known to man. It. And you just have yeah. to clean. That'd be kind of pog, actually. That'd be kind of a vibe. I think it would be like post-apocalyptic 
the world has been taken over by this poo poo black mold shit. Yeah. Oh, I'm on the castle keep wall. This is my castle now. Understandable. I've, <laughs> I'm doing a hostile takeover. Is this where they produce copies of uh, Blue Exorcist? Yeah, in the castle. In my ca my yeah. castle. Makes sense. If I could own a castle, that is that would be where they make copies of Blue Exorcist. I feel like that, that's like some Willy Wonka shit. Like you go to the, the Blue Exorcist factory and it's just a castle. The Blue Exorcist factory. <laughs> the blue, Charlie and the Blue Exorcist <laughs> manga. Amanda and the Blue Exorcist manga. True. Oh my god, I'm gonna write like my like self insert fanfic about me going to the Blue Exorcist factory. Bruh. <laughs> <laughs> Please do. I mean, I could. I'm sure I don't know where they print. I've never thought about that. Like I, I guess there's a printing, not a printing press. That's like what, that's like old fashioned. But there's got to there's got to be a factory where this shit gets made. I guess because yeah, at least one. Like a, they yeah. probably just like pay some factory to do it. Yeah, like, it's, it's, maybe it's, it's probably made like made in China. Manga. I mean, it's it's just like a Shonen Jump series. It probably Shonen Jump has somewhere where they produce their shit. I don't know where though. Yeah. I mean, the the author who writes Blue Exorcist has a very funny Twitter page where she's always updating, like, because the actual drawing of it just happens in, like, her home studio. And she's, like, she's very candid about what's going on. And one time she was just like, this, this week's issue of Blue Exorcist is going to be delayed because my cat threw up on the, on the manuscript. Um, that's kind of base, And then she actually. posted a picture of the, like, the original drawings, but they just have cat vomit. Bruh. The based cat. <laughs> She's like, I have to start over. She's very based, actually. She has always posted, like, the weirdest shit. That cat really did not want that, uh, <laughs> that episode to come out. What the heck? So, it's not the cat's fault. I feel like it might be the cat's fault. No, because the cat's contribute to the manga. She's always like, these cats are my inspiration. <laughs> she really loves her cats. She drew- Was there like a part in the episode after that where someone threw up on like an important paper? <laughs> as like I... a reference? Not that I recall. That would be some deep lore. The Blue Exorcist Iceberg. Oh my god, I should make that. Do it. Blue Exorcist... I videos. honestly don't know how deep the Blue Exorcist Iceberg would go. Like, there's some funny stuff with the anime production and the author's Twitter, but that's about it as far as I know. Just make stuff up. You Just make, make shit up. Yeah, who's gonna research it? it? Yeah, who's, yeah. Who's, gonna, who's gonna fact check me? Exactly. You have all the power here. I literally have all the power. Yeah. I, I, would, I could make, like, an iceberg on just some series no one's ever heard of and just... just fucking make shit up. That would be funny, actually. Watch the author DM <laughs> Narco says the author is gonna DM me and be like, this is false information. I mean, fuck, she might. Right, but it'd be pretty silly if that No, it'd happened. be awesome. I would, yeah. I would hold her ransom. I'd be like, I will keep spreading misinformation about your series until you make my fanfiction canon, write me into the series, and send me that $300 figurine I can't afford. Bruh. And Wait, then that's I'll kind be, of genius, actually. Yeah, I'm like, start spreading misinformation and then, like, extort the authors. Why am I doing so much extortion this week? Damn. Is this funny? It is funny, but I'm doing it more than usual this week. Oh, uh, understandable. I should do more extortion. Yeah, you should. It's, it's great. It's, like, pretty much, you know, there's, like, no downsides. You just get what you yeah. want by extorting. Yep. That's very true. But yeah, extortion is great. I, someone on my Discord server has like a running list of quotes of me being evil, and it's like, extortion is great, bullying is good. <laughs> this is that kind of shit. Cause I, I talked, <laughs> I talked about bullying people. Look, sometimes you just gotta bully people, you know? No, like... I mean, we need to bring bullying back. Like, people don't get bullied enough nowadays. Yeah, especially- but Back in my day, um... back in my day, if you liked anime, you got shoved in the locker. Nowadays, we've got 
people like cosplaying to school for TikTok clout. Yeah, what oh my the God. heck? This girl who this this girl who bullied me in middle school for liking anime, I saw her on TikTok like thirst trap Danganronpa cosplaying. <laughs> I was like, this bitch. <laughs> this bitch. I was so mad. <laughs> You either die a hero or live long <laughs> enough to become the villain. I'm gonna have the reverse arc. I'm gonna- I like- I've got- I liked anime as a kid, but now I'm just gonna become the bully. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like with with more bullying, the uh, the Danganronpa fandom would not have happened. No, it would not have become the way been, it was. Would have been a net positive. No, definitely. I mean, the the world, like, society as a whole, does not need Danganronpa fans. We as a society have surpassed the need for Danganronpa. True. I am thinking of pre-ordering, like, the $150 set of for Raincoat, <laughs> Oh, I'm thinking, Bruh. I'm thinking about it. I have, I have to make a confession. I actually have the, like, special edition set for Danganronpa V3, it cost me $150. Oof. I used- I used to be a very big Danganronpa stan. I still think it's good, I just don't, like, interact with the fanbase. Or, let me say, some of it is good. Some of Danganronpa is good. Some of it is quite bad. I don't know, I don't have a strong opinion, I think, on Danganronpa. It's just kind of, like, there. Yeah. A lot of people like it, a lot of people say some head-ass shit about it, you know. I just think it's like, it, it's a series that went on for a long time and had a lot of creative directions, and it was very hit or miss. Like, it started out as this visual novel that people liked, and then they like, cut forward like a couple of years, and they were making like a, like a third-person shooter game that was very weird to play. And also, then they had the anime that everyone hated. And they had those, like, very weird novels. It was just- it, it was a- it was a multimedia franchise that went in some crazy directions. It's like Five Nights at Freddy's. I- I mean, they do both have bears. Oh my god, you're as, so like, right. important characters, so basically. Basically, yeah. It's basically the same thing. I've there, had the Five there Nights. There has to be like a Five Nights at Monaco. There's game. gotta be a Five Nights at Freddy's, like at least like a crossover fan art or something. I don't want to Google Danganronpa Five Nights at Freddy's because that sounds like the worst Google search one could ever subject themselves to. But yeah, that I, I am your curious. Forever. Like you need to have like a button that clears your cache at that. No, point. what a button that blows up your computer. Yeah, nobody can know. Nobody about can that know. Search. Uh, I'm sure it exists. Oh, it has to. There's no way. And I've had- do you know the FNAF lore? I've had the FNAF uh, lore explained to me by, like, three different people, and I still don't really get it. Alright, so, um... Th there was a guy. Mm-hmm. And, uh, he was, he was purple? Orple. Yeah, he was Orple. <laughs> he was Orple. Hey, yo, why he Orple? Why he Orple? <laughs> laughing emoji. Um, and, I don't know, fucking... He was weird. He, uh, <laughs> he made a robot to capture... Well, well, the first thing that happened, I think, actually, is that he made a robot for a pizzeria. Huh. And, uh, some shit went down. And then uh, his son ended up getting his head torn off by the robot. The bite of eighty-seven. So went... If we're if we were if I was still on Twitch, I have a sound alert that someone could play right now that says the bite, that's the bite of eighty-seven. Well, that's the bite. Well, that was a pretty good Markiplier impression. It actually was not the bite of eighty-seven. It was the bite of I think eighty-four. The bite of that wait, the, what's the bite of eighty? What's the bite of eighty-seven? Where... I don't actually know. <laughs> It happened in 87. Someone probably someone got bit. bit. Um, what if it wasn't even someone? What if it's like the great horror that someone bit into like a popsicle? Bruh. I hate that shit. Oh my god. I'd be biting into popsicles. What kind the of fuck thing, is actually? wrong with you? You no, bite popsicles. I have like 
very sensitive teeth. You should go to a dentist. I did, and they just said use Sensodyne, and I do, and it helped a lot. But if I don't use Sensodyne, I will just like fucking die. I also, I one Let's time brush your teeth with Sensodyne and then immediately take a bite out of a popsicle. That's not how it works. <laughs> Sensodyne doesn't provide like immunity to sensitive teeth; it just helps. They get better Sensodyne. What? It's all the same. Apparently it's a big conspiracy. Have you ever heard of this? That like 90% of toothpaste, as long as it has fluoride, is like the same product. I have heard that, but Sensodyne is like, sensitive teeth toothpaste is actually the exception. It actually has a different ingredient. But uh, all weird. toothpaste that's sensitive teeth is the same, and all toothpaste that isn't is the same. Yeah, I have really sensitive teeth. I One time I got my teeth whitened, like that shit with like the gel and the lasers. It was the most terrible mm -hmm. experience of my life. Um, and after I got it done, like, basically, I think what that shit does is just strip everything from the top of your teeth and make it die. Afterwards, on my way back from getting my teeth whitened, I breathed in too hard, and, like, I was in agony from breathing in in an air-conditioned room. Mm -hmm. Never get your teeth whitened with that goop shit. It's terrible. <laughs> in case you were thinking about it. I don't know, I don't go outside enough to care whether my teeth are white or not. I don't really care either. It was basically just my school uh, had, like, a silent raffle with shit that people had donated. And one of the kids at the school, their parents, was, like, a cosmetic dentist person who does that. And they donated, like, for this auction, I will, I'll whiten your teeth. And then my mom bid, like, $50 or something on it. And then... We got it because that usually that shit is very expensive. Getting your teeth like whitened with the light, it's mm -hmm. very expensive. But we got we got it from the silent auction, and my mom was like, "Go get your teeth whitened," and then I died instantly. Damn, your mom really insulted you. She she said your teeth weren't white <laughs> enough. That's crazy. <laughs> she got it. I'd have been Although, like I will say, I mean, it, she didn't say go get your teeth whitened. She offered it, and I was like, "Yeah, why not?" I didn't realize that it would make it would make me die. Oh, to be That's fair, that fair. shit is agonizing, but it really works. Like, my teeth are still whiter than average. Like, it really, it really does work. But. That is believable. At a cost. Yeah. At a, at a high well, I don't know, cost. I feel like anything like that, like laser hair removal. I'm not, sucks. I would never go near that. Like. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds painful. Um, I saw some. I like saw that. a video of someone getting like their bikini area lasered, and mm -hmm. they were like, <laughs> they were like, it feels like getting slapped by a thousand rubber bands on your coochie. Ooh. <laughs> oh no. I'm like, yeah, no, thank you. Gonna be a no Weird. from me. Cleaning the shit out of this castle. Oh though, yeah, this castle's real, gonna be real. clean as fuck. Cosmetic procedures are fucking scary. Like, even the ones that aren't, like, just straight-up surgery, still creepy. And, like, I feel like you have to have a really good plastic surgeon, or else you're gonna look fucked up. Yeah, that can go bad really easily, and then yeah. you're also in pain, and it's like, man... So you're in pain, you're, like, $15,000 in the hole, that shit is so expensive. One second, I'm taking a drink break. I gotta drink my southern juice. Ah, uh, hell yeah. The sweet tea. What is it now? It's not 99 cents anymore. It's like a dollar twenty. Okay, it says 99 cents on the can, but it definitely didn't cost me 99 cents. Damn, you've been lied to. Yeah, like, they just print that All shit the on the label, but they're not- The store that sells it, like, I got it at a fucking CVS, and just because the company that makes the cans printed 99 cents on it, CVS isn't obligated to not charge you like a dollar and a half. CVS, yeah, I feel like CVS that's kind of is outside up. the law. Although I think it was like buy one get one, and I got two. So I guess it was like seventy five cents. I don't know. Oi, bro, that's kind of messed up in it. In it. In it. In it. You say, a, you say a little bit of a bottle of water without the teas. 
And that's how you do like a cockney accent. Yeah. A, a little bit of a bottle of water. I don't know. I don't want people who've never heard me before to think I'm British. That Trust, would be bad. I've no. I don't think anyone was convinced that I'm British by me saying that. Probably because people with an actual British accent wouldn't say that. True. They also definitely. Uh, my lawyers have told me not to Your continue lawyers? talking about about how we, uh, you know, the dentist stuff earlier and British people. Oh. <laughs> Did your, your, your lawyer tell you that, specifically? Yeah. Do not talk my, about British people. Lawyer. All right, well, do you not, can't disobey do lawyers. Of, they know their shit, I guess. Do not make fun of British people and their crooked teeth. Crooked. No, <laughs> you can't do that. Yeah. You, you know that new, the, like, new thing is that, like, buccal fat removal? And, like, Lee Michelle got? It looks fucked as hell. She looks like a skeleton creature. I have no clue what you're talking about, oh. I don't think I want to. You don't want to know? I kind of do, but that sounds terrifying, so I'm really not sure. It's like... I feel like I'll immediately regret it. I mean, it's not that different than any other plastic surgery that any, like, liposuction or something. It's like they take out, the like, the fat from the inside of your cheeks to, like, make your cheekbones look snatched or whatever. But, like, it looks mm -hmm. fucked. And apparently it's, like, very bad for, like, your facial structure. Like, your muscles and shit will get fucked. Oh, no. Yeah. Plastic surgery is very scary. Surgery in general really terrifies me, so I will not be getting any surgeries. I am not absolutely required to get. Like, any surgery that I will not die without, I will not be doing. Yo, same. I had my wisdom teeth removed once. It really oh, wasn't. I had my wisdom enough. teeth removed, like, three weeks ago. Oh. Yeah. I, uh, I went home. Oh, no. Oh, I went home for the holidays. And while I was there, I got my wisdom teeth taken out so my parents could take care of me. Nice. Yeah. I was like, I'm like, all right. I'm, if I'm going to be in, if I'm going to get my wisdom teeth out, I'm going to do it like in your house where you can make me soup. I guess that's the way to do it. Yeah. But like also happy holidays. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it wasn't, oh, no, like, literally on Christmas. Like, it was over the holiday break, but... Well, sure, but still, like, that's your time off, man. Yeah, I guess. Oh my god, there's a little there's a little gnome in here. Do you know about this? There's, like, a gnome in every level of this game. It's, like, an inside joke or something. Oh, it's, like, the lore? Uh, I don't know about the lore. There is, like, yeah, canonically a aliens in this game. Like in the universe yeah. of this game, if you go to clean the the Mars rover, um, you can what the fuck? you can like find evidence of aliens on Mars in the universe of this game. I was like, why aren't I moving? I was pressing Q instead of W. Doesn't like the cat um, have like a whole subplot dedicated to it? Oh, I have like no idea. Cat. The orange what orange cat? The one from like. The promotional art. Oh, it, like, it he might. I don't know. I feel like I've heard that before, but this is my first time actually playing, so I have no clue. I've played this game a bunch, and I have not explored any lore. It might be somewhere I just haven't looked because I'm too focused on, on cleaning. Yeah, which lore do we think steeper? FNAF lore or uh, <laughs> power, power, power wash, wash lore. lore? Blue Exorcist yeah, lore. Yeah, definitely power wash. Oh, Blue Exorcist lore. That's a the good. The Blue choice. Exorcist lore is very, very know. deep. The FNAF, I feel like really FNAF deep. lore, when you break it down, it's not deep so much as it's just conveyed in an extremely stupid manner, so it seems deeper than it is. That is possibly the most accurate thing I've ever heard about FNAF lore. <laughs> it's also, like, definitely strayed off path. Like, no one would write a story like this knowing how it's gonna end. And stick to it. No one would convey a story this way if they had the whole thing in mind. Is my take on FNAF. True. I've only played the first one, though. I did not enjoy it. <laughs> not, like, I think it's... I'm not into horror games, okay? It freaked me out. Like, I didn't enjoy it because I'm, I'm a wuss. Not because it's a bad game. Like, probably because it's a good game. Like, it's a good horror game. Bro, I love horror games. That's like my dunch. No, I'm 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 a I'm a little I'm a little scaredy cat. 
I played a game yesterday that I don't even know how much you can call it a horror game, and I was like dying. What game? Oh, so I played the demo for They Speak from the Abyss, which is like uh -huh. like a PS1 game. Like it's made to emulate a PS1 like dungeon crawler, and it was fucking crazy. You can download you can download the demo. I will. It's sick. And after I played it, Sounds not not great. to not to flex that I'm I'm clouded up and famous and relevant. But after I played it, the the dev followed me on Twitter. Oh, nice. Yeah, although I, I was already in mutuals with like the composer for the music, and then they were like, "Slay." <laughs> Very nice. Yeah. So niche little, internet micro. Yeah, I'm a little. Celebrity. It was a little bit of a niche internet micro celebrity. Like the the Kickstarter for the game like specifically says it's like inspired by Shin Megami Tensei one and like Baroque. I was like slay. So SMT tw like, SMT Twitter. Scary? Yeah, I mean it was still a horror game. It's like the the graphics were kind of inspired by it, but not the story. Mm. It was a spooky. Gotcha. It was a spooky game. Okay. Oh, so it is designed to be a horror game. Yeah, I mean, it was a horror game, okay. but... Well, you said dungeon crawler. I mean, it, like, it oh. is a dungeon crawler. It's, it's like a horror game, but like psychological horror, I guess. Like, it wasn't like jump scares. It was kind of just like you're in a really scary place, and it made me tense. Mm. Understandable. Yeah. Have you ever played, like, the puppet combo games? I have or, like, not. tried to? I have not. You should. I think you would have a lot of fun with them. See, I feel like you saying that after I just told you I don't like horror games. Yeah, I think me. you'd have a lot of fun with them. I don't trust you. No, I think you'd have a lot of fun no. with them. They're not scary at all. Mm. I would like- I, I would like to get into more horror games. Not because I, like, want to, but because <laughs> I think it would make good content, basically. <laughs> True. So, maybe I will. Yeah. I think you'd have fun with them. They're not very scary. You could do it. Mm. I'm gonna play, like, VR horror games. That shit sounds absolutely horrific. Nariko knows that when I say a game isn't scary, I'm telling the truth. She can back me up. Um... I don't- I don't trust. Yeah, VR is- VR is freaky. Like, even VR that's not horror games, it's, like, I've only tried VR a couple of times, and it's, like, kind of unsettling, just in its existence. It takes getting used to, so I feel like a VR horror game would be very, very scary. <laughs> Narco is not agreeing with you in my chat right now. No, she is. She's saying no. The, she's saying no, the game wasn't scary. She cried because she wanted it to be scarier, and she was disappointed that uh, it wasn't scary she, It was cries, yeah. of, cries of disappointment. And yeah. screams of disappointment. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yep. Yeah, that's, that tends to be my reaction to disappointment, too, is, is screaming. Yeah. Like, at the top of your lungs. Just yeah, like that, you know? yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You're gaslighting right now. Alright guys, it's time to cancel Ezra. What the hell is a gaslight? Now you're just making stuff up. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna write it I'm gonna write it twit longer about how you were a gaslighter. Oh no. Yeah. You better watch for that. Oh no. Yeah. Oh, no 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 no. Never underestimate. VTuber Twitter's ability to cancel. True. <laughs> I feel like I could be canceled if I tried. It's really not hard to be. Yeah. I'm just saying. I'm not saying it's hard. I'm just saying, like, if I wanted to. Maybe yeah. I, maybe I want to. I think, like, if I ever decide to like graduate or whatever, instead of being mm -hmm. like instead of like graduating normal, I'm just gonna get canceled on purpose and then graduate for attention. That is a way to do it for sure. Yeah. And then when I 
um, when I show up in, uh, in the whole life after graduating, everyone will hate me already. And it'll be funny. Quality. It'll be funny because if you're in Hollow Life, you're like immune to hatred and being canceled. That's kind of true, actually. It's definitely true. Like it's it's. I mean, not that this is just a VTuber thing, but when people get when people get really popular, it becomes impossible to hold them accountable because they have they they can just ignore you, <laughs> and they have lots of fans who will come to their defense. But that's that's tea for another day. Internet yeah. tea. I and mean, we we already been knew that the internet is not a great place to be, no. so yeah. Shout out yeah, to yeah. twitter.com. Shout out to twitter.com. You know what I played earlier this week was the um the needy streamer overdose game finally got around <laughs> to playing it. That game is wild. That game is It sure is. <laughs> that game is so I I thought it was really funny. But also it was like funny in a way that sometimes hit too close to home. Yeah. I still need to play it. I've seen like yeah. clips of it from it's, like all the it funny is a stuff wild that happens, game. Yeah. But, like Yeah. yeah. It, it was fun. It like gave me a headache. It has this like really loud music. You uh, I can only play it in small snippets. It has a lot of like flashing lights. <laughs> I got it's a very really bright video game. It definitely has an art style. Yeah, I got like a physical copy actually, and it's it's oh. very nice. It came with like a, a it That's came with like a cool. lot of stuff. I got like the, the the edition, the physical edition. It came with like a book of fan art and like um, a, like a CD of the soundtrack, which is cool. Not that I have any ways to play a CD. <laughs> When I when I built my new PC, I didn't put in a disk drive, so I, I now really don't have any ways to play a CD, but I have it. That is very cool to have, though. Yeah, yeah, it's, it was kind of a it was kind of a, a funny addition. Although I got really worried because when it came in the mail, um, the co the case was in Japanese, but the game booted up in English, so it was fine. Hmm. I mean, I guess. You can do that, I and mean, it doesn't... Yeah, and there's nothing stopping. I just got really that. worried. I was like, was there, like, a drop-down menu to pick a language that I didn't see? Because, like, it wasn't, it wasn't, like, that expensive, but it wasn't, it wasn't free. I was like, I don't, I don't want to buy a game I can't play. Yeah. But it was fine, I guess. It's cool, though. I, I do a lot of Japanese games I can't play. Yeah. The, the Japan-only Blue Exorcist PSP game. I hear it. I heard it's not even good, but I want to play it. And the artist on Twitter, the artist of Needy Girl Overdose, or the artist of Blue Exorcist? I feel like I know the answer to that question. <laughs> uh, you don't need to answer that. Yeah. I I I had trouble finding the title. That game has like five titles. I literally I used the name that is on the case of the game that I got, which was I think Needy Streamer Overdose. But some people were like, it's Needy Girl Overload or whatever. I'm like, what the fuck? Can y'all pick one? No game needs that many titles. No, I think they need more actually. <laughs> more titles. It wants to hold the record. Did you know that? It's it's an SMT game that holds the record for the longest RPG title in English. Which one? It's um Shin Megami Tensei Devil Summoner Raido Kuzanoa versus Abaddon and the Soulless Army. Bruh, that's <laughs> actually ridiculous. That it holds the world record for the longest English RPG title. Just some some SMT trivia for you. Next time you're you're at a party and you want to pull that out. Yeah, th yeah, I bet that'll do really well at parties. Yeah, I you, you Chad, you party. You, you party? You, you, you be partying? I do party on occasion. What the fuck? Chad alert. Yeah. Chad alert. True. <laughs> I do not party. Chad SMT enjoyer. <laughs> I'm, I'm Hikikomori, okay? I just stay in here. Just stay in my I little hole. I do be like that. Yeah, I'm just like the needy streamer overload girl. She's like, I don't want to go out. 
Well, I wanna, I want, I wanna, I want lots of attention, so I'll be a streamer. That game is wild though because it takes place over the course of a month, and like, so oh. she has her first stream, and then she has her second stream, and she has like a hundred thousand subscribers. <laughs> I'm like, this is inaccurate. God, I wish that was me. God, I wish that were me. Famous icon. It's like it's like a boomer interpretation of the internet. Cause I told like my mom does not fully understand what I'm like doing, like when I'm like yelling in my room. But I think mm -hmm. she thinks I'm like famous. <laughs> she's she's like, those people are watching you. I'm like <laughs> like four people. <laughs> but it's it's cool. But like I think my mom my mom on her in her brain it's just like either you're you're famous on the internet or you don't post things. She's like, Well the fact that you're streaming must mean that you're famous. I was like, Yeah, okay. I'll I can work with that. I am, in fact, a famous icon. Niche internet micro-celebrity. Yeah. One day. Me at the party, like, they don't know I'm they a don't, niche internet They don't know I'm a niche internet micro-celebrity. It's me for real. It's just like me for real. Bro, my, my boss at my, like, real-life job literally, like, watches VTubers. And one time he was like, you should be a VTuber. <laughs> I was like, aha, that would be so silly. That would be so goofy. Bruh. <laughs> if my coworkers ever found out that I'm a VTuber, I think I would simply quit my job. <laughs> yeah. My, my boss is very cool. Like, he would think it's cool, but, like, he's literally, like, we literally, like, I wonder, I, I don't think he watches frequently, but, like, we have watched, like, Phase Connect clips together, and if he ever watches that fucking Pippa stream, I'm gonna die. Oh, no. I'm gonna, like, that's the thing, is, like, I feel like I'm gonna get found out by someone in my real life, but I don't maybe think I Maybe he already does. Maybe, that, maybe that's why he's talking about VTubers to mess with you. Oh my god, he's just playing games. That's That Bruh. would be so evil, bro. If I... If I knew someone in my real life was a VTuber, I would do the exact same thing. I would just, like, casually talk about them to, like, make them stressed out. That would be- that would actually- that's actually so funny. I would definitely do that, just to troll. I'd be like, wouldn't it be so yeah, funny if you were a VTuber? Man. I was at- like, I've been, I mean, I've been to, like, conventions where people are, like, like conventions are different though because like everyone is there being a being a loser, but people like people in real life at a convention will just tell you they're a VTuber. Imagine being a VTuber, honestly. I'm honestly, glad I'm yeah, I'm glad I'm not. Glad I'm not a VTuber. This is like really what I look like. It's not an avatar. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. This is just, this is just my, I, like, I literally, all I've done is turned on my webcam. True. <laughs> Same. So One true. day. Yeah. It's like, you know, I, I, I don't know why we're, like, I'm gonna get back from the subject of, like, plastic surgery, but you know that the girl who, like, got plastic surgery to look like Barbie or whatever? Yeah, that but VTubers. Yeah, that but like yeah. I feel like we're I feel like we're getting close to that. Someone's gonna be like, oh, I got I got I got twenty seven plastic surgeries to to look like to look like Gargura. <laughs> uh, that like, would be That would be weird. Nightmare. That would be scary, like terrifying. I was like, you know those like there's a word for them, but I don't remember those like masks that they have in like I see them mm -hmm. on Instagram all the time, and it's like masks. It's like anime girl masks, and it, they look just fucking terrifying. Yeah, I hate those so much. I hate the. I mean, I think they're cool, kind of, but I also hate them. Like I respect. I follow someone on on Instagram who like uh, makes them. And the process is cool. Like, I, I I can recognize the artistry in, like, making a mask, but I don't want to see someone wear it. Yeah. 
like the, but the feels... process yeah the process videos well, are neat yeah. yeah it is a little a little strange every once in a while i think about the fact that we have like an instinctive fear of things that look almost human but aren't yeah, quite the uncanny valley. means that means that at one point we needed that instinctual fear as a species Wait. like at what point uh, there was something dangerous that looked close enough to being human i don't think that's how that, that now we is that are how that works afraid of it i mean i mean maybe i think it's definitely possible holy shit the aliens yeah, that's what I'm saying. The ancient, the species, the ancient, ancient aliens. I love ancient aliens. <laughs> I love that those kinds of shows. Bruh. Anything, any like those shows, especially when they're on, they're on the History Channel, just yeah. make me cackle. No, like, I love them. It's like they. Why they are you have, airing they this? They have so much confidence. They have so much confidence as they just casually say that aliens existed on the History Channel. Like, it's just a statement of fact, and then they just move on with their lives. Like, they just start airing the next show, and they're like, yep, that was evidence of aliens. Okay, now on to, um, Drain the Ocean, World War II. I fucking love Drain the Ocean. Drain the Ocean is- I don't sick. actually think I know what that is. Oh, it's like, basically, they drop down, like, sensors and stuff. Like, just like, uh, those, like, sonic sensors and stuff into- the ocean, and they find basically, like, lost vessels, like, airplanes and boats and stuff that went missing, and then they use CGI to recreate them, and they, like, quote-unquote, drain the ocean, so you can look at them with CGI, and they, like, try to find evidence of, like, how they went missing and what happened. Mm. It's actually pretty cool. Like, I think they don't make it anymore, like, it's kind of an old, older show that just has, like, reruns. Because I think it, it's from the era, it's from like 2008 or something, when CGI just was like really impressive, even though it doesn't look that good. So, but they air reruns, and it's it's kind of neat. I love that kind of shit. Like, I'm, my favorite show that they ever have on the History Channel is Mysteries of the Abandoned. That show is fire. I don't really know that much about like the history channel i don't really do cable tv <laughs> i'm gonna be honest i watched i i don't even yeah i don't even really watch them on cable like a lot of them are on like on hbo max i got hbo max are they some of them and hbo max so i can watch unproblematic fave velma bruh i hate I... that shit not. I have not started looking into, like, what's up with that show. Is no. it really that bad? I mean, I haven't watched it. But everything I've seen of it, like, clips, like, yes, it is that bad. But... Oof. I don't know. <laughs> Dude, I'm, um, I, I, I'm about to say I made my... Lemon that I'm extorting for video editing made a short about of me basically, like, ranting about how I hate Family Guy. And... Oh, it, it, it like slipped into the wrong corner of YouTube and I started getting fucking furious Family Guy fans in the corner. <laughs> no, honestly, you're right. <laughs> fuck Family Guy. No, not, not a good show. It's like, I don't even think a lot of it had to do with Family Guy. It's just like, you know, sometimes you make a short and it gets on like just the side of shorts where people just hate VTubers. Yeah. So I like, mostly it was just that. Which is just, ki just kind of goofy. I don't know. I'm kind That's of pretty silly. Yeah, I'm I'm immune to the haters. It's okay. I'm too powerful anyway. I would kill them. True. Yeah. A friend said that to me, like, like how we were talking about the uncanny valley, about like they don't like to watch VTubers because they don't move right. Which is honestly um, really true. I think I'm just really used to it from watching them a lot. But, like, if you watch, like, even, like, really good, like, live 2D, it's like, they do move kind of weird. True. That's a good point. Yeah, I, maybe I they had, like, yeah. ancient VTubers. Maybe that's why we're instinctually terrified. Oh my god, yeah. Like, back in the ancient days, the VTubers descended. 
Yeah. From the stars. That's like a good, it's like a good like VTuber lore concept. <laughs> the, like the ancient ancient, ancient alien ancient alien VTuber who descended in the ancient era, and like built the pyramids and then went back to space and then showed up again to stream. VTuber lore. Uh, I love I love VTuber lore. It's always like it's always like either just literally nothing like there's just is no lore which is fine. Or it's just like the most like dramatic shit you've ever seen. Yeah, but then in either case they're a friggin' gremlin. Yeah, then either case like it's yeah, like when you get down to it, it's just a, a live streamer. Yeah, I, I appreciate the the drama. Like if you're gonna, if you're gonna make yourself up an anime character. You might as well commit and just make some really deep lore. This is true. This is true. Like why not? At the at this point, like if you've spent fucking a thousand dollars on a VTuber model, just go for it. Make lore. Yeah, very true. Oh my god, this one has the graffiti. We're getting close. We've almost we are ninety three percent entire thing. The grime, the dirt. I would say this is what my room looks like, but that would be a lie. I'm actually very clean. I'm not. I'm the only. This is what Nariko's room looks like. <laughs> I'm the I'm the I'm the only clean streamer. Oh, I like I clean like crazy actually. I'm always on that grind. Which is crazy because I also like hoard things like a little like a little goblin. So I have like a ton of stuff like if you walk into my room it looks like a hoarder lives there but i know exactly where everything is at all times Fair i don't know who's in my chat like but that. i don't i don't know who's in my chat but there's like a 99 percent chance someone's gonna say the autism that's the other thing that came out of the the, the pipkin pippa ascension of November is just like a f influx of people telling me I have autism. Fair. <laughs> yeah, it might be a little fair, but it's now a bit. I mean, so. I mean, fair in the sense that like th th that 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 would be where that comes from. <laughs> yeah, I think. I mean, I re I respect Pippa Pipkin because she is like successfully co-opted the autism brand so hard that people will just call it the Pipkin. And they just mean autism. Bruh. Like, I had people in, in, like, the video, the Pippa video, just being like, she has the Pipkin. And everyone was just operating under the understanding that that meant autism. I'm like, wow, it's so connected to her brand. That is some very effective, very effective branding on her part. Kinda wild. To make her very name associated with autism itself. Incredibly powerful entity. Definitely one of the VTubers of all time. I love her. Pipkin Pippa, hit me up <laughs> if you're if you're watching. <laughs> Yes. Yo, what's up, Rui? Happy birthday. What the fuck? Welcome, welcome. Rui Kamishiro from Wonderland Showtime. Yup. <laughs> oh my god, yep. it's showtime! Hey, hey. Hey, hey. It's showtime. Oh, uh, hell yeah, karaoke stream time. Oh my god, Ka go. karaoke stream, but it's just Wonderland Showtime. I could do that, honestly. I could, I could fill, like, a three-hour stream with just Wonderland Showtime. 
Hey, hey. Well, Wonderland Showtime is just like objectively the best unit in Project Sekai. I'm just trolling everyone because I'm live, popping into chats. Oh, I thought you were done. How are the marshmallows? Do you get anything oh. funny? Wait, is there a third chat watching us or is it just... I think there might a... be a third chat oh, watching us. Oh, what the fuck? Us. Chad the... Ch not Chad. Chat the third. Yeah. Well, the joke's on you. I was just using you in this collab to get to Rui's booba anyway. Uh, that's that's valid. I'm I can't even be upset yeah. about that. Yeah. So semi 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 up. Okay. Now I'm embarrassed. Is she watching? Yeah. Oh shit. Oh fuck. The, the, the booba. <laughs> she and her tits are watching. True. <laughs> and her feet. Oh. No, I'm kidding. I'm not into feet. Are you sure? I'm 100% sure I'm not into feet. I do not like feet. I do not like being around feet. I do not like looking at feet. Feet are gross. I do not I understand. I think that might be Cap. I think you might be lying. It's not Cap. It's, it's, it's facts. I forgot the opposite of Cap. <laughs> okay, it's facts. I don't know about that. I think you might be lying to us right now. Look, I... If I was into feet, which I am not... I would just say it. I would not fuck around. I would just say it, all right? I like to be upfront about these things, and I'm not. I just joined the stream and it's already sus. Oh fuck, we got Pi Studios with the incredibly based profile picture. Instant in, instant clout from me for the Haru pro, Haru profile picture. Bro. Haru forehead, let's go. Hi. Don't roast her like this. She doesn't deserve it. All right, are, are I gotta ask. Sure a, I gotta that? ask a question, which is a true test of your character. Um, who do you? Who did you romance in Persona Five? Uh. If you say Futaba, I'm ending the stream right now. I mean, that technically wouldn't be wrong. I did every one of my. Oh, um, you did the. You did the hair. Of... Yeah. I actually, I can't fault you for that. Like if the exception, the exception to to dating Futaba is the horror ending because then you just get to spend Valentine's Day with like Ryuji. Like Ryuji yeah, sends you to, like, with your bros. The biggest job of all time. Yeah. I mean, I I think personally, I would find a uh, Valentine's Day with Yusuke to be a bigger dub. Yeah, but unfortunately, Atlas. Yus Yusuke kind of the best boy. Did you Definitely see that? the boy of all time. The boy of all time. Do you see that someone already made a mod to like get rid of the Ken romance in Persona 3 Portable? Nice. <laughs> love to see it. We love to see it. Persona community coming through. Persona community. They draw they they draw the line at like 10 years old. Like like they they like the persona fans will be people who will tell you that the age of consent in Japan is 13, but 10 no. Which that's not true by the way that the, that the age of consent in Japan is 13. True. That is not correct. Yeah, I think it's and like English people would stop saying it. Yeah, it's that's not correct. I think it is still younger, but I think it's like 16. Yeah. Yeah, as soon as someone says starts starts any sentence, someone on like Twitter or whatever starts any sentence with something about the age of consent, instant block. <laughs> instant True. block. I'm not talking to anyone True. about the age of consent. <laughs> that is the way to do it. The best way to keep your mental health. Yeah. Keep your sanity. Don't argue with Persona fans. Don't interact with Persona fans, unless they're me, in which case, follow me, I don't know. Oh yeah, people got mad about Fire Emblem. I'm not into Fire Emblem. Every time one comes out, I'm kind of tempted by it, but then it's, like, expensive. I know, like, I, I kept being, like, I wanted to play Three Houses, and I kept being, like, It'll, it's, it's a, it's, it's a, it's been out for a while at this point. I'll wait for it to go on sale, and it fucking never does. 
It's a Nintendo game. I know. Versus, are you kidding? I know. <laughs> it's not going to happen. I, I did mean... get engaged, but I haven't played it yet. But I only got engaged because of the review, the one you uh, retweeted. Oh, the one that said it's like pers- uh, three houses yeah. without the heart. Yeah. But if you close your eyes, ayo, ayo. God, it's so funny. They just keep doing it. It's like literally any game without social elements, they're like, it really lacks heart. Like, there are plenty of good critiques one can make of ST5, but it lacks heart because it doesn't have, like, social links is not really good, a good one. Yeah, like, the story's dog shit, but it's not trying yeah. to mimic Persona. <laughs> no. I mean, it's hard. Like, I think, like, they were fighting an uphill battle. Like, trying to make, trying to make a, a SMT game in, in a post-Persona 5 world is difficult. Because you're setting these, you're, like, people have these crazy expectations. People have never touched SMT in their life, but only like S- like only like Persona Five. Like you're setting yourself up to disappoint a lot of people for just making what SMT is. Very true. But you know, Very that's true. a that's a boiling hot take no one else has said before. I think perhaps it would be cool if people could just like Persona and Shin Megami Tensei. Uh, and yeah, that was it. it'd be com- competing. Like they're just you just have to engage with them on a different level. Like, there's some things you can compare them about, but you don't have to compare them about everything. Sometimes games are different games, and if you don't like SMT, but you do like Persona, that's, like, cool. But you don't gotta be a hater. Some people Ooh. some people just wanna be hate. Where's the last piece of dirt on this tower? I'm going there's to some, see it. There's some on the outside. It's hard to get. I'm gonna see if I can get the ladder somewhere. There we go. Wait, I can put the ladder here. Where, where can I put the ladder that I can get this shit? Oh, it extends. Extend. <laughs> that is such a good, like, meme format, though. The, but if you close your eyes, hey oh, hey oh. It really is. I kind of love it. I was laughing at that for, like, way longer than I'd like to admit. <laughs> No, it's good. Yeah, I want SMT five on PC. That would be cool. Especially like in in a in a post Persona five Royal porting world. Like I think we're gonna see a lot more Atlas games on PC, which is cool. I don't know if mm-hmm. SMT five is gonna be one of them, but I really want um SMT four to get a port because that's one of the only like mainline ones I haven't played just because I don't. I like to own shit physically, if I can, and I don't have a 3DS. I would like to have a way to play that game without it being handheld. Yeah, that too. Like, I think SMT4 is deserving of a, a port, but we'll see if it, if that ever happens. I would also really like to see um, Devil Survivor ports. I, I think... really would like to see baby girl Raido Kuzunoha come Oh, back. yeah. Ba- baby girl. <laughs> yeah, I love that, man. Yeah, me too. I really want to get physical copies of that game, but it goes, it's like, to get like a PS2 copy of any Raido game is like $600 on eBay. Jeez. Like, I have, I have some ST games on PS2, uh, but like, I had to be, like, scouring. Like, I was, like, waiting to jump on those deals when I find them for, like, less than a hundred bucks. I have a copy of Nine. Really? Yeah. Man. I got- I have a Persona 3, like, Fez for the PS2, and then I got, like, I got, like, a new in-box dual pack of, uh, Digital Devil Saga. That shit is excellent. That is a really good, really good game. I still liked, um, I liked Nocturne better, but not by much. Alright, my chat is asking me if I would join the Church of Feet for Rui's birthday. And what you is know the what? Church of uh, Feet? I don't know. Is it Rui's but... birthday? 
I think Ru Rui's birthday is on Sunday, right? Oh, yeah, it's on OMG. Sunday. But she did the stream today. So oh. on Sunday for one day, I will be part of the Church of Feet. But the reverend, only for that the reverend, one day. reverend of toes. Yeah, only for that one day. I would I I'm gonna have to decline. Cause I don't like feet. I want it on the record. You can't like feet for one day? Mm, no. Not even for Rui's Pog Champion Booba? What? The Booba is very far from the feet. Well, yeah, but the feet get you closer to the Booba. Yeah, but they can do that, like, while in shoes. I don't have to, like, look at your toes. Not if Rui doesn't own shoes. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to make any assumptions. If you buy feet, you get Booba free. There you go. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm in. Yeah, see? I told you it's the play. <laughs> I was I was promised Booba though. Contractual obligation now. Yeah, Rui, just make sure you meet the obligation. <laughs> Don't make promises you can't keep. Yeah. Most important lesson in the VTubing world. Second most important don't thing, say don't that because don't say that with. because today I um, recalled that I made a community post like a month ago that said when I get 500 subscribers I will um, read the gamer copy pasta on loop for 24 hours and I was um... I was definitely joking I might do it for like an hour until no, I you should do it for 24. 24. I think you can do it. I believe in you. I mean, I don't know. I don't think I have 24 hours, like, in where I don't have to, like, go to school or work. <laughs> like, what if I just make uh, some looping audio and leave it up for 24 hours? You guys would never even know. I mean, you probably know. Like, what if I just record it, loop it for 24 hours, live stream? You never, never know. Yeah, I think that might have to be the way to do it. Like the lo-fi girl, just leave it playing. Yeah. Do you see that? Like, like the lo-fi girl got like the the stream like ended for the first time in like thousands of hours. Oh no. Where where else is the dirt? I don't know. I'm like struggling. Okay. Yeah. This is the, the thing. Is like this is where it gets hard. Is when there's like one percent left and you don't know where it is. Oh. Oh, what was that? One sec, let me... Oh shit, thank you for the sub! Yo, hell yeah. Oh wait, I forgot to say my... Welcome to the stream, and welcome to the team. Thank you for subscribing. I always forget I have that on because on YouTube a lot of people don't have like their sub thing. Uh, like, people have to have their subs available publicly for it to work. So I won't even notice people subscribe until after the stream because there's no Vine Brew. Yeah. You wait, so we forget that they have every version of Nocturne HD, like like Switch, PC, and PS4. Why? That's so much. I'm gonna buy every like, version of I'm gonna buy every before. version of Persona 4 Golden. Do it. I have two copies of Persona 4 Golden. I have like a physical one for the Vita and I have it on Steam. And now I have Persona 3 FES on Switch. Or on PS2 and Persona 3 Portable on Switch. So, we gaming. And I, ha I got Nocturne HD on PS4. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. Did they ever fix the PS4 version? Yeah, it was fine. I, I heard that there were like a lot of problems on launch. I don't know, like. I mean, how I think the PC version had more problems than the PS4 version. Oh, really? Or I think like all, every version had like some problems on launch, like um, frame drops, pretty much, like just like optimization issues. But I think they patched it pretty quick. Like I didn't really have any issues. 
And then I think the only other thing they added in a patch was, uh, like, the skill inheritance. Which, I didn't even miss it that much. Like, I was like, whatever. Like, the Persona 3, people are upset that the Persona 3 port, uh, doesn't have, like, skill inheritance that you can choose. It's just, it's still random because people hate that. I'm, like, not bothered by it, honestly. It's, like, not a big deal. People are very dramatic about not getting to pick skills for some reason. Like, just deal, I don't know, cope. <laughs> Learn how to use the skills you're given. True. This this dragon's still a little dirty. I think this might be where the last percent of dirt is. All the inside the dragon's mouth. I time for a dragon dental work. That was an anime, right? There was an anime like Dragon Dentist. That does seem familiar. I didn't watch it. Are you watching any anime this season? What are your 2023 watches? Hmm. I don't really watch a whole lot of anime, surprisingly. I know oh, fake oh, VTuber. Fake VTuber. Um, I have been finally watching uh, that time I got reincarnated as a uh, slime now. Give us the review. Um... I usually stay away from Isekai because it has like a certain reputation to it, but like there as far ones. as Isekai go, it's pretty good. I guess I kind of stopped watching it, not because it was bad, I just kind of got bored. Yeah, that's fair. The best Isekai is um, Mairumashita Iramafun. Bro, you gotta hop on this one, it's so good. It's like very, it it's very wholesome and also top 10 fruitiest anime. Oh, okay. Yep, I'm sold. Actually, as a character, it kind of reminds me of you. Now that I'm thinking about it. Oh, based. It has like a like a like non-binary non really, redhead. They're like the funniest person of all time. Uh, no, not that part. Damn. They are based. Not like me for real. <laughs> It also has one character who's she's just like me for real, but yeah, that show slaps for real. It's like it's a very wholesome isekai. It's like he gets isekai, but instead of like then the objective is like to get home, he just has like a found family in the isekai world and just like hangs out with his like magical friends, and it's very very wholesome and nice. also very very fruity. His friends very do be gay. Fruity. We like it. We like it. We love top 10 fruitiest anime. I feel like the top 10 fruitiest anime would be like <laughs> Yaoi. It has been so many years since I watched Yaoi. I'm I I just find it Probably so cringe for now. The best. No, it's definitely for the best. I don't even know like what the popular Yaoi series are anymore. I just remember when I was like first getting into anime it was fucking um dramatical murder oof that shit is wild like if you just go read the wikipedia page about dramatical murder it reads like you're having a stroke like the it actual plot so of it is just fucking insane i thought about that yeah i kind of like i came across at a convention someone was selling a bunch of like vita games and i came across like a vita copy of the visual novel i was like would it be funny if i bought this probably yeah they re-released it on Steam only, like, a couple years ago. Are you serious? Oh my god, dramatic- yeah. <laughs> Just putting it on the schedule for next week. <laughs> Fucking dramatical murder. Um, I would definitely check TOS before you do that. <laughs> It'll be the private stream. We'll just do it on, on fucking Discord. <laughs> Bro, I've, nice. like, popped in my Discord uh, server sometimes, and people are, like, streaming something, like, just playing a game together. I'm like, oh, nice, and they're playing fucking, like, Melty Blood, like, Tsukihime, and I just walk in, and it's just straight up like, oh, that's just, like, a penis. I guess it'd be like that. Those games, they're just doing this in my Discord server. I was like, what the fuck? Y'all doing this without even telling me? Like, damn, you're not even gonna invite the server owner? My my yeah, I change it all I change it all the time, but my my name on my Discord server right now is um <laughs> the palace ruler. Being Bruh. being evil. It's, that just the Discord server is my palace, alright? It's my distorted desires. 
where I where I rule, and I ban words indiscriminately to troll people. Fair. By people, I mean my fucking like real life sister is in my Discord server, <laughs> and I just, oh. Oh, we no. just it's okay. She's she's chill, but like I just ban words that she likes to say to fuck with her and change her nickname. <laughs> Nice. Right now, I think it's Wiener Bobiner. <laughs> Quality. <laughs> Although, to be fair, like, a couple people in my server changed their username to Wiener Bobiner. Oh, fuck! She's in the chat! Get out! What the fuck? Why is she here? Why does she, like, just appear when I'm talking about her? Do you just watch these, but, like, silently? Say hello. Hello. <laughs> I'm here to be silly. Oh yeah, we we just got silly little behavior going on. Where is the last bit of dirt? A hey, sister, this is what you need to do to your fucking bedroom, all right? Get the power washer. Damn. Her room is a mess. I know it is. I'm not there right now, but I'm. I know it is. I mean, if you look at the menu, it'll tell you what still needs to be cleaned. The castle keep battlement wall? What the fuck is the battlement? That's a good question. That I just clocked out of work and decided to surprise my favorite elder sister, and here you are, boy. <laughs> Did you literally just come in just as I was talking about you? Go back to work. <laughs> That's fucking weird. I like summoned her. Scary. Very scary. I that swear to god, she, I swear to god, she just, like, appears. Theater kid jump scare. She's gonna- she's Theater gonna, kid theater jump, scare. jump scare. She's gonna start doing something really scary, like singing Dear Evan Hansen. The scariest oh, no. thing ever. Not Dear Evan yeah. Hansen. <laughs> <laughs> the scariest thing someone can do. True. True. Well, what's scarier, Dear Evan Hansen or Hamilton? I feel like Dear Evan Hansen is scarier because, like, Hamilton, like, Hamilton fans are annoying, but at least Hamilton in isolation is pretty good. Dear Evan Hansen is, like, kind of bad. Oh, is this what they mean by battlement wall? I don't know what the fuck a battlement is. What do I look like? A knight of the round table? That would be kind of sick, actually. I need to get myself a round... I need to get myself a round table. <laughs> Excuse me. Blessed. Thank you. I gotta clean the dragon's ass. <laughs> she said, I hate Dear Evan Handed. What musical does she like? See, I'm not really a, I'm not really a theater kid, but I know a lot of theater shit because my sister is a theater kid, so I've been subjected to it. Although she's apparently she's apparently graduating from being a theater kid. Oh nice. <laughs> Love to see it. Congratulations on this on this character development. Hey, she said, oh, Hades Town and Groundhog Day and Come From Away and In the Heights. <laughs> okay, that's a lot of words. Oh, those are all pretty good. In the Heights kind of slaps. At least they made a movie out of it. I don't really know much about musicals, so no, I don't think I've seen it. There's been in the past couple years kind of an influx of like musical movies. And like all of them, pretty good. I like a, I appreciate a musical movie. It's kind of, it was kind of for a while, kind of a dead art form. Like we had a lot of musicals in like the fifties and shit, and then for a while people weren't making musical movies, and they've kind of come back, which is nice. And High School Musical is probably <laughs> to blame. High School Musical. That we had to let it go. Mm. 
the names are great. We have Amanda, Lord of Darkness, and uh, Ezra. Ezra. <laughs> I think the only person I know named Ezra in real life is like the guy I used to know's younger brother. Oof. I knew someone named Ezri, like with an I, and he got really mad anytime anyone called him Ezra. Why? Because it's not his name. Well, yeah, but like you get you get to be called the same thing as world famous <laughs> world TV famous Internet VTuber celebrity Ezra Andromeda. I think this I mean, was probably before niche internet micro celebrity Ezra Andromeda existed. No, I don't believe it. I've always it's been a eternal. Thing. People just, I was, you're I was the, you're the ancient VTuber. Yeah. Yeah. There you go, free lore drop. Holy shit. The lore is coming. The FNAF lore. What if my VTuber lore was just, like, the Bite of 87? Just the Bite of 87 yeah, happened? Yeah, like, that happened. And it's like, okay, you know how we were talking about Kingdom Hearts earlier? Yeah. Like, you know how Kingdom Hearts is basically, like, they just play out a Disney movie, but Sora is just standing there? Yeah. My VTuber lore is just the Bite of 87, but, like, I'm just standing in the background. Ah, I see. <laughs> I'm just yeah. there, and, like, that's the lore. I like it. I yeah. like it. I think this can work. I think this can do I'm just, numbers. I'm just gonna, like, awkwardly Photoshop myself into the Bite of 87, and, like, that's the whole, that's the whole lore video. I would actually enjoy the fuck out of that. Do it. <laughs> what if someone... Bro, that's a genius idea, actually. So, what if someone's VTuber lore, right, was that they can, like, hop dimensions, and their beats and, like, their, all their lore videos are just them awkwardly photoshopped into, like, any fictional property you can imagine, and they're just like, I just hopped into the, the, the fucking anime dimension. It's like, oh, do you know about that shifting thing on TikTok? Uh, no. Oh my god. It's like, I don't even know how to explain this. It's like, it was this trend, it kind of still exists, but it's less popular, of basically, like, mostly, like, young girls who were convinced that they could shift into other universes while they're sleeping. Like, fictional universes. Like, unironically, they believed that they really transported themselves to, like, the Harry Potter one was really popular. They be like they unironically believed that they had transported themselves into the Harry Potter universe by like they would do this thing called scripting where you like write in a journal about what you want. It's basically fan fiction. Like you write like I am a student at Hogwarts and Draco Malfoy is in love with me or whatever. And then if you dream about it, they believe that they like shifted into the universe. What? It's crazy and like I've seen- I saw some people still doing it on Twitter, and, like, they get really mad. Like, these people, they call themselves, like, shifters. They really think that they're, like, an oppressed group. They'll be like, the anti-shifters told me I can't shift into an alternate universe. Because basically what they're doing is, like, lucid dreaming. Like, all the techniques people use to quote-unquote shift are just things people do for lucid dreaming. Like, meditation and stuff. Which is a real thing. Yeah. So they're just doing lucid dreams, but like they say that like they act like if you tell them that shifting is just lucid dreaming, that you've like that you're being like discriminatory towards shifters or something. What the like you, hell? like that you like they'll be like there's like an anti shifter who said I'm just lucid dreaming. Certified TikTok moment. It's for so real. funny because like people took it so seriously. It's like I swear to God, some of it was satire, but some of it definitely wasn't. TikTok, I hear about, I always hear about them secondhand, but it has so many of these weird fucking, like, niche communities of, like, the weirdest shit you've ever heard of. And it's very entertaining, honestly. TikTok is cursed. I mean, it definitely is, but damn if it isn't entertaining. I, was gonna say, I love Ew. not having TikTok, and then, like, several weeks after something goes down on TikTok, hearing about it from someone else. Like, I'm always behind, but I'm not on TikTok. <laughs> These are cat videos and thirst traps? Are you making thirst traps or looking at thirst traps? 
I don't know which is, which is, I mean, I guess if you're making thirst traps, like, get that bag, I guess. That's your prerogative. Looking? <laughs> Are you looking respectfully, at least? And looking, looking disrespectfully at thirst trap TikToks. As long as they're not, like, of children. Because that's my issue, that's, like, the biggest problem with TikTok, I think, is, like, some of those thirst trap videos, you go on that person's profile, and they're, like, 12. I'm like, what the fuck? Oh, help me get the uh, the underside of this is nasty. Is that is that the part? Oh, God. oh. That was a part. Doesn't even like. Yeah, it's also like I think that's we could blame like James Charles and shit for the makeup tutorials because now like twelve year old kids are so good at makeup that they're like contouring their face and they look like they're like twenty five. I'm scared of contouring. This shit is crazy. I don't know anything about makeup, so I can't really speak on it, but that does sound... Oh, no. Like, if you're, like, really good at contouring, you can, like, change your bone structure with the way it looks. I don't really contour my face. I'm very bad at makeup. I do, like, I wear makeup, but I use the, like, 12-year-old who just learned about makeup technique where you just, like, put glitter on and then just, like, leave the house like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've never messed with it. I've had, like, other people do it for me, but... Yeah. I mean, I my strategy is just, like, get glitter, like, get something sparkly, just, like, put it all over, and then uh, leave the house, and you'll be looking, you'll be looking fly. You'll be looking pretty glittery, for sure. Yeah, that's what I said. Yeah. <laughs> it's the same thing. That is, uh, Riz, as the kids say. I think that's what Riz means, like, your face is glittery. Yeah, maybe something like that. I mean, I think, is, is Riz, is Riz the same as, like, I think Riz just means good. Like It's, it's like ability to get bitches. Oh, that's what it means? Oh, I do not have Riz then. F. F. I thought Riz was just the same thing as like swag, where it's just like you're cool. I mean, I guess. I, it, like that. I mean, just swag mean you get bitches because sometimes I say things are like I'm I'm swag, but I I don't I don't have bitches. Wait, Riz is short for charismatic. Oh, that makes sense. Maybe I. I have Riz in some situations. People online tell me I'm charismatic, but no one in my real life thinks that. <laughs> um, Situation situational Riz. That'd be a really good like. Riz. That'd be a really good like band name. Wait, you're so right. I'm starting a band. It's called Situational Riz. I like it. I like this idea. Castle, the castle battlement wall and crenellations are dirty. What the fuck is a crenellation? I have no clue. What the fuck? Now they're just making up words. No, definitely. Oh, is that a crenellation? Is this this little thing? Here, you have to start looking at like the undersides of shit. We're so close. This is when the real the real challenge starts. Oh, this thing. Wait a second. Where is it dirty? Oh, there. Come on. Oh, it's on the underside. Come on. Oh, the crenellations. Apparently this is a crenellation. We learned something new today. I I also learned what Riz is. So, you know, I learned so much knowledge. Nice. That's what we're about. Educational this, is, this, is this is educational content right here. 
what I'm saying. Isn't um Mie doing that tonight? Like physiology or something? I saw it on uh, a community post. Yeah. That's spaced. Castle keep battlement wall. That's so many words. Where's like the last piece on this border here? Some of them are so specific, and some you can do like half of it, and they just count it. Yeah. It's a little temperamental. Oh, this round thing is, I guess, the keep or the the the, the wall. Where is it dirty? I swear to God, this thing is clean. I have, high I have High School Musical stuck in my head now. You're welcome. Thank you. Bro, do you know that the guy who played Ryan in High School Musical is straight? He, like, has a wife. That's so sad. I know. And he, like, did an interview about it where he was like, if there was a reboot, I will not take the role because we should elevate gay actors. I was like, wow, an ally king. But it's like, wow, he was really convincing. That man was, was so gay. Where is the last bit of dirt on this thing? <gasps> Something dinged. The ding is so satisfying, though, after you've been, like, cleaning for an hour. Yeah. This is, like, my procrastination game. Like, if you ever see me on Steam or whatever playing this game, like, just assume I have homework to be doing, and I'm not doing it. Valid. Oh, did I get under under these little thing? I can't even tell if that's dirt or just the shadow. I don't think it is because it's not lighting up. Oh. Apparently this shit is a corbel or a, a corbel. I'm learning castle terminology. It's like when I tried to clean the train, I learned so many train words. Trains are pretty cool. Trains are pretty cool. Apparently someone told me on my last one of these streams that liking trains is an autistic trait. What? I think they might be right. Like, I kind of, like, I think that's a stereotype, but it's also kind of true. I would say I, I don't know that much about trains, though. One time my dad showed me a video of a, cra of tr a train crash. <laughs> he was like, Amanda, come in here. And I was like, okay. And he handed me his phone. He was like, look at this video. And it was just footage of a train. What? Why? Uh, of, of it because, okay, my, my dad works for, like, uh, insurance company, and he was like, I'm representing someone who, like, the family of someone who died in a train crash. <laughs> and he um, showed me the video of them dying in the train crash. Well, I, I, I don't know why he showed it to me, but that's why he had the video. That's, like, kind of messed up. I mean, like, you couldn't, cool. like, it was just the footage, it was like, there's, like, a camera on the front of the train. So, it didn't show, like, any blood or gore or anything, because the camera stopped when he made contact with the car, but he was like, look at this video. <laughs> All right, Trains are crazy. Like, have you ever stand really close to a train? They're like, way bigger than you think they are. Like, trains are massive. They are definitely large. They're like lads. horses. Like, I feel like horses are, are bigger than people think they are. I am not I want- I want to dispel any rumors that I'm a horse girl. For some reason, people get the idea that I'm a horse girl. I'm not. I am not, nor have I ever been a horse girl. I do not like horses. I'm kind of scared of horses. Yo, same. I'm afraid of being, like, on the wrong side of a horse, you know? Because, yeah. like... When I was, like... It's like yeah. Dangy, it's over. When I was, like, nine, I went to this, like, shitty horse camp. And on mm. the first day there... It was only like a week long horse camp and on the first day I got heat stroke 
and like started and I like threw up from heat stroke so I didn't go the second day and then I just I just did never wanted to go again <laughs> and like these horses were like super gentle super trained like they were meant for kids to learn how to ride a horse in one day like these were like very very well trained horses like these horses were not going to kick or anything but I just I, I just did not enjoy my time at horse camp Fair. But, like, I've had multiple people tell me that I have horse girl vibes, which I hate so much, because horse girls are annoying. Oh, that's the thing, is, like, I feel like people associate horse girls with, like, people who are really obsessed with a horse, or, like, they really want to get a horse. But I, the only person I knew who ever was really, like, a horse girl just actually had multiple horses. So, like, she wasn't just, like, obsessed with horses and didn't have one. She, like, really, like, she just dropped it on us super casually, like, after we, I'd known her for a while. She was just like, do you want to see my fucking horses? Like, that's some rich people shit, first of all. Like, do you know how expensive raising horses is? Where the fuck is this last bit of dirt? I don't wonder. Like, it still says there's some stuff on this wall, but, like, I don't believe it. The castle keep battlement wall. Okay. That's this thing, right? Yep. I've been, like, trying to get every speck of dirt I can see up there, and it's just, like, not... Mm. It's also hard because the fucking thing is orange. Yeah, that's really, like, not helping. Yeah, it's not a good design choice. Mmm... Come on. This is like where this game becomes agonizing. This is the final- this is the final stretch. I'm gonna try moving the ladder. I wonder if there's like dirt under the ladder. Maybe. Come on. This- this golf course is gonna be so clean. You're going to be able to fucking eat spaghetti off of it. What if I would eat like lasagna off of it? Would that you be possible? You can do that. Yeah, you can also do that. That's fine. So it doesn't really matter what kind of food is. No, gonna I mean, it's just going to be clean like enough to general. eat food. Yeah, spaghetti just first came to mind. Gotcha. I don't know why. Maybe because someone in here was being Italian earlier. <laughs> I don't know. It I could it. happen. <gasps> what? Golf ball return spot. Yeah. I didn't even know that it still needed to be cleaned. What the fuck is a golf ball return spot? You just, like, put the golf ball in. I have not played mini golf in so many years. A golf course is like not fun, <laughs> like mini golf. I don't really get the appeal of golf at all. I think it's just a thing like old guys like. There's like a little speck right there. Oh! Sniped it. The castle keep battlement wall still has not dinged. What the hell? I swear to god, there's not any blinky light on- Oh, is that it? Oh? There's like an FPS. Do you see something? Oh, I think I got it. Wait, I need the, the ladder. Let me get the ladder. Uh, ladder. Yes. Oh, oh shit. I feel like I'm- it's about to dig. I feel like it is. YES! Oh, yeah. <laughs> what? The, why is it- right. why it's is it still, still missing stuff. Uh, castle keep stairs. Castle keep- The stairs? Uh, rocks. 
Where's the, the castle keep stairs? Tower windows. Oh what? my god. Hmm. <laughs> Come on, come on, come on, come on. I'm on the stairs. I don't see shit. Are they on, on this side? Is th this is the castle keep stairs, right? Or... Is that what it says when you highlight it? Like yeah. in the top left? Then yeah, those would be the castle oh, keep but... stairs. Oh yeah, they are kind of dirty. I was on the wrong side for a second. Yes! Yes, I'm upstairs. Okay. What else is left? Uh, did you get the rocks? The castle- 12 out of 13 rocks. Yeah. That's the exit rocks. So many rocks. Why the fuck does your mini golf course need so many rocks? And why do they have to be cleaned get, individually? Yeah. <laughs> you have to, they're like, oh, you gotta clean all 13 rocks or we're not gonna pay you. Which rocks are the castle? Oh. There are so many variations of rock. There's the igneous rock. Meta metamorphic rock. Ig Did I already say igneous rock? Yeah. Oh, uh, those are the only kinds of rocks I know. Valid. Wait, I feel like I can think of another. Did I say like metamorphic quartz. rock? <laughs> it's the same, uh, the same uh, two things, I think. I don't know. I don't know shit about rocks. I don't know geography. Uh, volcanic rock. My favorite type of rock is an archon. <laughs> Wait, how is that a rock? Yeah, but I just needed you to remember that archon was a. I don't want to remember. I want to forget. Nope, too bad. If I want to forget remember, about archon. No. And uh. Although I, I I broke him with architect, you I did. couldn't I couldn't bring him to say architect. <laughs> you beat Xander Fangsworth. Yeah, take that, Xander Fangsworth. <laughs> Defeat. There's like a VTuber fighting game. It'd be like Amanda wins. Fatality. There should be a VTuber fighting game. I'm amazed there's not already. Fatality. What I'm amazed of is that there isn't like a VTuber, like rhythm game. And there's like True. there's been like VTuber features in some rhythm games, but there's not like a VTuber rhythm game. Like just make Project Set Guy, but the gotcha is different, draw different PNGs of VTubers, and then there are VTuber songs. Yeah, that seems kind of like obvious. It really actually. does. I think there is, like, a Hollow I've Gotcha thing. Well, there's, like... I mean, if you count Hollow Cure, but that's a fan game. Yeah, but that's a stuff fan like game. The, the D4DJ collab they did, that exists. There's a there's a, there's a Hollow Live song in Muse Dash. Yeah. I don't remember which one. I haven't played Muse Dash in a long time. There's also just so many songs in that game. Yeah, and they change all the time. What the fuck? The cave coins. How's it going, Ezra? What's up, JB? Hope you're doing well. I'm vibing. We're vibing. What is the? What the fuck is the cave? The cave floor is like this little spot, but I'm not oh, seeing it. It's a cave coin. I don't see oh. a coin. Like there were there what? were some coins over here, but I I cleaned them. I think. Oh no! This says it's a cave coin. What? It's not even in the cave. Oh, I see. This all counts as cave. Yeah, it's not even in the cave. Even though it's not a cave. 
I mean, I guess it's part, it's close to the cave. And these motherfuckers who own this fucking golf course need every one of their coins cleaned individually. Yeah, obviously. I mean, wouldn't you? I mean, I guess I do like my coins to be clean. Yeah. Those orange slices? No, they're cave coins. Didn't obviously. you read that? Didn't you read that? <laughs> they do kind of look like fruit. Yeah, they're a little fruity. They're a little fruity. Fellas, is it gay to be a cave coin? Yeah. Um... Three out of four cave coins are clean. Which one of these fuckers is not clean? These look very clean. These motherfucking coins. He's that I'm a Persona fan, I can't read. That's so oh. true. I too am illiterate and a Persona fan. I'm truly I am the most depressed group. Not the cave coin. All of that shit for twenty five cents for per cave coin. Yep. All right. What are we missing? Cave Still, snake. Oh what the fuck is a cave? Where's the cave snake? Is that the snake? That's gotta be the snake. Castle That's the tower snake. windows. What the hell? Snake. Wow. Oh. That's 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 like my uh that's like my wrestler name. The cave snake. The Castle cave wall. Snake. They, they call me hey, hey kids, they call me the cave snake. <laughs> okay, I don't there is no dirt on this wall. Game is fucked up. Nine whole castle. Wait, what counts as the castle wall? Because this says, like, this orange thing isn't the castle, it's the castle keep. Oh, castle wall. Well, yeah, but okay, there we go. We finally got that Did one. Did you get it? Uh, castle wall. Okay, gateway wall. That's not Courtyard it. Courtyard turret roof. Central stairway wall. This thing, this game is just making up words. Roof. Turret roof. Oh, castle turret. That's the only turret. First of all, what the fuck kind of castle only has one turret? A flame. Oh wait, no, that's that's it. It's that one. The turret room is cleaned. Why is there a gnome on the floor? It's just like a thing in this game. They like put a gnome in every level. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Which wall is it? Which wall is trying to get their ass beat? I'm gonna get that. I'm gonna get that shit. Castle wall. Oh! <gasps> Yo! What the fuck else is dirty in this place? Uh, this floor apparently Courtyard has raised a floor. little... Yep. We are on it. I know. The rate. What the heck? <laughs> this game is gaslighting us. <gasps> um, what well, the I don't know what we did, do? we did it. I don't know, I just sprayed until it was said it was clean. I guess. Alright, cave stepping stones. One out of four. Okay. Forest stepping stones. Where's the forest? Is this part the forest? It's gotta be.
Archery targets, courtyard archery targets, okay. <laughs> Jesus, that was violent. Yeah, I'm starting to get violent, all right? We're not cleaning anymore. We're defeating. We're conquering. Stair Central stairway protruding bricks. What? They're protruding. I suppose they are. We do a little. Oh yeah, no. We do a it. we do a little protruding. True. <laughs> All right. We did that. Literally can't Ex see anything. Exit rocks. Ninety nine percent. So like, if we were to if we were playing, and we go like here, the exit is like ah. I see. Oh? You, what do you see? I see the exit rocks. Excellent. Love that for you. Yeah. It's pretty pog. Pretty. We do a little poggin. Yeah. Mmm. These forest rocks are like the bait of my existence. Valid. What what is wrong with you, forest stepping stone? I'll kill you. I will kill the stone. The forest stepping stone still alive. Fence posts. Where are the fences? That's a fence panel. What is the difference between a fence panel and a fence post? Oh, the post is the end, I see. I'm going sicko mode. Where's the fence post? Is that the only fence post? The fuck kind of fence only has one post? No, there's eight- at, there's ten fence posts? Oh. I can't get on the outside, though. Fence post. There it is, the last fence post! Fence post. I'm losing my mind. Where the hell else is there dirt on this motherfucker? This is gonna be the fucking cleanest place in the whole city. Why is nothing yeah, surrounding this well, park? There it's we go. Nothing surrounding this park because we're in hell. I, that's my headcanon. I think this game takes place in fucking hell. Third Fifth hole, small, small border. Small border? First hole sign. Oh, where's the sign for the first hole? It's the second one. Oh. Okay, there's the sign. There's the sign. Gateway crenellations. Is that this? First hole, 99%. Come on, come on, come on! What the fuck is a, the gate crenellations? Is this the gate? Oh yeah, that's- and that's the crenellations. I see. Oh. I can't jump. Go, 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 go. I'm like try harding this so hard. You small forest mushroom. It's gonna be so clean. We're gonna we're gonna do this. 
small forest mushroom. Fourth hole border. Is the great gateway crenellation still not clean? Gateway crenellation. That's this thing I'm standing on. Then clean it. I'm trying. I literally can't see any dirt. Yo, mood. <laughs> Honestly, so true. Me when I can't see any dirt. Relatable. Relatable content from relatable VTuber. That awkward moment when... When you can't see any dirt on the gateway crenellations. Yeah, I know. Happens it happens to me, to me every yeah every it. day. I'm like, damn, I can't see any dirt on the gateway crenellations. You know, the crenellations of my gateway that I have in, in my in my everyday life. Yeah. Oh. Found a little spot. Okay, cool. Come on, come on, come on. <gasps> I did it! The gateway crenellation! Nice. Okay. What else? The sixth hole sign. Okay. The sixth the sixth hole. I'll show you a sixth hole. <laughs> True. That's five. And that's seven. We're six. My eyes are freaking. <laughs> Fix whole sign. Cleaned. Third hole, small border. Where's the third hole? Four. As I go imagine this in real life, you just see two people, like, looking at every, like, little inch of a, of a Bruh. golf course, like, trying to get every speck of dirt. Honestly, yeah. Relatable. Golf ball return bucket. Alright, I know where that is. What is the third hole small border? I don't, what do, you, what do they mean by small border? Third hole small border. Oh, that's it. That's not even part of the third hole. It's just next to it. Oh, wait. Third hole flooring. Third hole border. What the fuck is the small border, then? I literally don't see it. Oh, small border. Oh, is this it? <gasps> okay. Fourth hole Ooh, flag. Fourth hole flag. Okay. Six, six hole border. Six hole border and flooring. Alright. Yes! Let's go! We did it! Let's go. We are so good at this. Oh We're my god, cracked. I love- this is the best part. We get to see the, the time lapse. Oh no. How long have we been doing this? Two and a half hours? Jeez. Oh my- that's- I mean, we did it in real life. Probably take us like many more hours. True. Oh my god, we did it. I'm playing the- I'm playing the thing again. <laughs> so nice. I love this game, honestly. Wait, how do I do it? It didn't. I nothing popped up for me. I'm just like <gasps> nothing chilling popped here. Up for you. Um, to press escape. Oh, open tablet to continue. Yeah, press View press escape. Detail. Yeah, I did. And did it you... just opens like the clean the mini golf thing, and it says 100. percent Oh. I I can see it. I don't know. Maybe it's because I am the host. So now you you can also on the top right of your tablet you can go to the store. And get yourself some drip Hug. for the for I don't know 
you ever want to play with more um riz which i learned means charisma yeah Actually, i'm trying to get the the heavy duty power the or the professional duty power washer but you need 90 stars and i only have like 45 so i guess i will not be being professional today damn that's so sad which is crazy because i just fucking cleaned this whole thing like i feel like i'm professional like what yeah, am that i was a pretty professional job also we, we got, got paid like right the definition place. of a professional just means you get paid to do something yeah like it's your profession yeah yeah that's what i'm saying that's what i'm saying yeah 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 so you should have the professional stuff like now like yeah, like now this game is fucking yeah, fucking bullshit. Like yeah, give it to me right now. I should get it for free actually. <laughs> they should just give it to me. True. This game should have microtransactions. I probably have it already. I love pay to win. Do you do, do you like spend a ton of money on gotcha games when you play? I spend a ton of money on gotcha game singular. Can you guess which one? <laughs> Probably Project Sakai. Like, I've never spent uh, money on a mobile game in my life until Project Sakai. I've spent so much money. That's spent so, so much money, and I didn't even so get long. I didn't even get Pop in My Heart, Dance, and Sing Sukasa Tenma. Fucking the worst yeah. day of my life. Honestly, how can you even continue playing after that? I know, that? I know, because the songs are bangers. Do you play Project Sakai? I have it installed. I haven't opened it in like oh a year. Oh my god, open it and then friend me. And then we can play all the drip all the games and you can see all my outfits that I paid so much money for. Oh no. <laughs> and then I you're gonna be jealous and it. you're gonna realize how much how why I spend the money. It's not it's it's about the outfits, okay? It's about the costumes. Mostly you That's have to get the costume like the costumes come with the gotcha cards, so you have to get the costumes. I'm fucking obsessed with any game that has costumes in it. I love changing costumes. It's it's free serotonin to just like change costumes every every single song. It's just like oh, a, a just a hit of that uh that serotonin juice. Just a hit a hit on those you know, you know, all the psychological tricks that gotcha use. Like I'm like, oh it's the rainbow sparkly. This was definitely worth three hundred dollars. I made an attempt to, like, stop my addiction by, like, uninstalling my credit card, and then I installed it again. Not good. Very icky. No good. A dubious little oh, creature. Oh, dude, I kept quoting that at my, at my Discord. A dubious little creature getting up to mischief. This is no good. Oh, uh. The, the beast is, is demonic in nature. in nature. Very, very. Icky. Icky. No. How good. does that guy even make his voice sound like that? Like he doesn't sound like a human being. Know. Like he sounds so learn. weird. Maybe the beast is demonic in nature. Oh, the beast is demonic in nature. Very. Icky. No. <laughs> so good. Best audio. So good. Yeah. All right. All right. Yeah, I'm time, gonna get time to go. I guess guy eventually. All right. Give me one checky. You wanna? Yeah. I'm gonna put you on my other screen. Oh, why am I down here? I'm putting. I'm gonna put you on my on my summoning circle. Oh my God. I'm gonna you put you what? on my. I'm gonna put you on my what? circle like I've summoned you. I have a summoning. Oh, you're just chatting. Yeah. It made you even smaller. <laughs> it didn't make me. Oh, it's because it's because, because it's, 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 it's because last time I was I was on this screen, I had like a video over here. We were watching a video. Okay. Now you're no, on my. Oh, like on mine. You are. Like, oh. Tiny. Wait. Whoever I, mean... I had before you must have like. Oh, like I'm a so huge small. What reaction. the fuck? <laughs> yeah. What the yeah. fuck? Why am I so small? You've grown. It's like <laughs> a chia pet. You pour <laughs> water on it. <laughs> I'm like a gremlin if you feed me after midnight. My background is so cute. Thank you. It's spinning. I love just like little useless animations. Just sparkles and shit. Just endless, endless riz, as they say. Yeah, true.
that so vtuber true. just chatting background or is oh for... yeah now that's the i also have i have the desk it has like uh like a snt demon fusion circle on it Ooh. yeah you better believe it i'm in riz debt i am in crippling Ooh. credit card debt Woo! that's riz baby you call it riz wait you call it crippling credit card debt i call it riz i think i've figured out how to use that word correctly mm -hmm. i'm confident in my usage of that word actually you're getting there i'm gonna start saying riz i'm gonna incorporate it into my daily conversation good excellent perfect fabulous outstanding wonderful wonderhoy Yeah. I'm sure the people you talk to will love that. Joke's on you. I don't talk to people. I only talk to people on the internet. And everyone knows if they're on the internet, they don't count as people. <laughs> needy Riz over to, over to Overload. <laughs> the needy streamer Riz Overload. Bro, honestly, like, the needy streamer girl, she does have a lot of Riz. Bro, when I was playing that stream, I drove everyone crazy because your, her name, like, her streamer name is, like, K-Angel. But I kept saying Kangle. Like, Kangle. Just, Kangle. Like, just to, what the hell? just to piss my chat off. They sound like, uh, sounds like, like some shit you gotta get removed from your foot. Like a can canker, can can Kangle. Oh, no, that's in your mouth, right? A canker sore? Yeah. Kangle. Oh. One sec. You ever just drink water? No. I thought you're the no. one who just said you're the one who said you don't drink water. I'm drinking the Arizona iced tea still. Which is why um I mean I'm usually like this, but I'm actually caffeinated. <sighs> Pog. Also earlier I ate like four hundred M and M's. That's a lot of M and M's. I'm exaggerating. It's not that many. Yeah, it was like 399. Yeah, I I had to eat the woke leftist M and M's. Yeah. You see that the fucking the okay, what's yeah it? they got rid of my sexy M and M's. For yeah, good, yeah for the bad. the the freaking SJWs got rid of the sexy green M and M in yeah, favor of woke live. feminist M and M's. <laughs> Which like the M and M's I got don't even have the feminist like the purple packaging that I saw on Twitter. I have a fucking M&M &M addiction. It's so bad. They are good. They are good. good. Candy. They're like the best candy, honestly. I mean, they're not the best candy, but they're the most satisfying. I like crunch. Kit Kats yeah, are better. Kit Kats are not better. I do not like Wait, Kit Kats. Really? I don't like no Kit way. Kats. No, nah, that's Cap. Nah. No, nah, I don't like them. Nah. Yeah. Nah, that's Cap. They're like... I mean, I don't, like, like, if you offered me a Kit Kat, I wouldn't say no, but it would definitely not be the candy I would pick. I don't like, well, I don't like waif, the wafer stuff that's inside them. It's kind of just, like, dry and crispy. Well, that's what we call a skill issue. That is not a skill issue. That is Riz, actually. That's candy, candy Riz. Okay, you know those, um, like, subscription boxes that you can get that send snacks from around the world mm -hmm. my parents got me one they got me a subscription to one for hanukkah and so, oh i got it when i got when i got back from the vacation and it was snacks from austria and the oh like 25 percent of the snacks are just wafers with various sauces it's just like wafer and chocolate wafer and cheesecake and i don't like the wafer part so i didn't like any of it it's a little bit sad yeah but like wafers go hard it's just i like do not like them bread i don't like them they're t i don't like um i don't like th they make my mouth feel dry they're just like do i like white chocolate no white chocolate gives me a stomach ache I also don't, I have, I have many hot takes about candy and junk food. Everyone hates to hear my opinions about it. Because I also don't like Oreos. What? They're just, like, dry on the outside, and then the inside texture is terrible. It's just, like, fucking gritty. I hate that. I hate Oreos. 
No. You don't. Yes! No, don't gaslight me. Gaslighting again, yet again. But, like, they're good. I mean, if you think they're good, you can eat them, and I will not eat them, because I think they are bad. You know, always with milk, I also, I mean, I don't usually, like, have milk around. What? Yeah, because I don't... What kind of... <laughs> I have uh I have oat milk sometimes. That's good enough. Yeah, but not for or not to dunk Oreos in. And dunk Oreos in oat milk? I yeah, mean Yeah, it'd probably be fine. I mean it'd probably be fine, but like it's still an Oreo and I don't like Oreos. Well what if you just decide to like Oreos? Like it's just that easy. I mean what? <laughs> Wait, it just, just decide just, to like Oreos? Just change your mind, yeah. Just, just, <laughs> you sound like yeah. you sound like one of those like self help people who's like, you just gotta change your mindset. You gotta wake up at four AM and get on the grind set, and then you can make passive income by selling Bitcoin. Yeah, that Yeah, I, do you wanna buy exactly, do you wanna yeah. buy into my cryptocurrency? Just wake up and get on that liking no, no, but, Oreos but, grind set. Okay, okay, but do you, you know, wanna invest in my cryptocurrency? Scenario. It's going it's going to the moon yeah let me buy like, yeah okay here's how it works like... here's let me explain to you how we're gonna get rich okay you All send right. me two hundred dollars yep and then in four years i yep. will give you a jpeg of a monkey and then i, like I have made two hundred dollars and you have monkey i like it yeah like it's monkey. a good plan <laughs> I want to yeah, start. I, like I want to start a pyramid scheme. <laughs> like I want to. Like I, I want to. I mean, like I'm, I want to start it. So I'm obviously I'm the top of the pyramid, and then everyone else just makes money, and they're the bottom of the pyramid. But I'm on top because I started the pyramid scheme. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's it's a good business plan, right? You see, I think I think you mean a multi-level marketing. Yeah, multi-level marketing, uh, which is not okay. Look, multi-level marketing is not. Illegal. Well, yeah, uh, but it's a scam. Yeah, but it's not illegal. But it's a scam. Like, it's unethical. Uh, yeah, but it's not illegal. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> so I can do it. <laughs> I, I suppose so. There will be no, like, repercussions, but... And then, I mean... after many years of, of multi-level marketing... It will have evolved into a pyramid scheme where I'm at the top yeah. of the pyramid, but I'll have made so much money that when they take me to when they take me to court because I've become a pyramid scheme, I'll just have really good lawyers and I'll probably have to pay a fine, but I'll be able to keep being a pyramid scheme. That, that you have <laughs> a lot of confidence in this plan. <laughs> I thought this through, okay. I know a lot about pyramid schemes, and I think this could work out. And because you're getting in early, I'll let you be my downline. So you're like you're like the just underneath me on the pyramid, which is still pretty close to the top. So like okay, I'm making product, I'm making more money than you. Like we're selling. I'm making more money than you, but not by that much. You're still making money because you're close to the top of the pyramid. Well, what are we selling? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm, like, what are we getting people to try to sell for us? Okay, that's the next part of my plan that I need to come up with. <laughs> I plan, see. Num plan number one, start a pyramid scheme. Plan number two, sell something. Ah, uh, I see. I think we could do, like, like, those online courses. You know? Because they don't cost, like, anything to make. So there's no, there's no production fee. I just make... Like, I make a recording of me teaching you, like, just literally anything. I put it on a DVD or a streaming service, and then everyone else sells subscriptions. Mm -hmm. And then I'm the top of the pyramid. <laughs> well, so I make the most money. <laughs> Got it. Yeah. It's a well-thought-out plan. Thank you. I think about this every day. Every day I wake up and think about starting a pyramid scheme. <laughs> It's one of my one of my evil activities, all right? It's my murder, extortion, bullying, being the top of a pyramid scheme, and selling cryptocurrency. 
Gotcha. Yeah, <laughs> I like it. I yeah, like yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, thank you. And it's uh, only like one of those things is illegal. So, like, when can I get the monkey? Yeah, you get the monkey in like four years when it goes to the moon. Oh, you just okay. gotta you gotta hold on to it because it it appreciates in value. So if you give what? me two hundred dollars, you can have a monkey in a couple what? of years. What what if I'm already on the moon? Well, it doesn't matter if you're on the moon. What needs to go to the moon is my cryptocurrency. Well, <laughs> what what if what if I am your cryptocurrency? What if I like steal it? I non fungible the Ezra. NFT and then take it to the take it to the moon like physically and then just chill on the moon with the blockchain. Okay, so if you're on the moon with the blockchain, then you send me the monkey. And then I sell the monkey to someone on the internet for like five hundred dollars. I give you a hundred and fifty of the five hundred dollars. You've already made return on investment, and then we start a pyramid scheme. Yeah, because at this point I've already become the blockchain, so I don't even know if I need to <laughs> become, be part of the become like, one with the blockchain with serial like experiments. Already, lane. I've already become like more a more complicated. Yeah, shape I mean, I've already been I've player. already been minted onto the blockchain. I mean, I am the blockchain at this point in the strategy. Okay, so just, you're. Like, oh, so you're the, the product. Like through me. Okay, I think like, we can combine these together, right? So, we start a pyramid scheme, and what we're selling is an online course. That will teach you how to become the blockchain. But it's a scam because you already are the blockchain. Yeah, but you, it's just you go on yeah, on you go on I video and you're like, here's how I became the blockchain. Then I sell mm -hmm. I sell the video to people who I tell to sell the video. So they buy the video from me and then they can sell it mm -hmm. to whoever they want because I'm already making a profit because I'm the top of the pyramid and you're the blockchain. Yeah. <laughs> Seems correct. Yeah, Seems yeah, it makes, like, like there's literally no, nothing that could go wrong in this plan. So, like, at what point do we start the cult? Well, what's the difference between a pyramid scheme and a cult? Um, There's a charismatic leader at the top, me, with Riz, taking advantage of everyone in some kind of uh, thing where we all agree on one ideology, which is that you are the blockchain. And we just, like, hang out together in a cool room. That's what a cult is, right? You just, like, hang out. Yeah, and usually commit, like, a number of uh, crimes. Yeah, that's part of hanging out. Yeah, that's valid. All right, all right. <laughs> I see where you're coming from. Yeah, it's a foolproof um, strategy, okay? Yeah, I really don't see how anything could go wrong at all. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> conversation like Bruh. veered off i don't even remember what we were talking about uh i don't know <laughs> but i i don't have anything else funny to say about pyramid schemes so oh, have you seen i have of... you have you watched the like lula roe documentary <laughs> The what? There's a documentary about Lula Roe, which is a pyramid scheme. Ah, uh, no, I. It's pretty interesting. That's where I learned that. about um how to start a pyramid scheme. I think the moral of that story was actually that pyramid schemes are bad. But I just took away that you can make like a lot of money, and they probably won't shut you down because at the end of the Lula Roe documentary, they went to court and they had to pay a bunch of money and change some of their policies, but they still exist. You can still sign up to be the bottom of the pyramid. Like, it still exists. They didn't really face that many consequences, even though they were literally a pyramid scheme. So, that's what I learned. Watching documentaries is great. You learn a lot. I mean, I watch enough true crime to just never speak to a detective ever. Oh, I don't watch true crime. Oh, well, that's like the one I do true, true crime. crime. Uh, watching true uh, crime is boring it's like yeah i do this every day it's like watching a video of me going to work <laughs> that's valid so, so... yeah so, you, well i am um, i am never, the, yeah, yeah 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 i am the crime ne never speak to a detective ever but what about a dachi um every day i dream about talking to toru adachi the detective uh, from Inaba. Have you seen that video? I, Have you seen that video? The guy who's like, who is the detective who lives in Inaba? 
Adachi. Bruh. No, I have not. Oh my god, remind me to send you this. But, uh, yeah, no, I think if you're having dreams like that, uh, you shouldn't talk to detectives. Instead, you should talk to, perhaps, like, a therapist or, or like, a psychiatrist. And talk to my psychiatrist. Like... She's trying to tell me I have autism. Bruh. <laughs> <laughs> and then she said, Adachi isn't real. And then I, I killed her. Ah. For lying. She was a liar. Okay. And she also didn't want to join my pyramid scheme. I have no use for people who don't want to be the bottom of the pyramid. <laughs> don't you need people to not be part of the pyramid so that you can make them part of the pyramid? Yeah, but she, she didn't want to be part of the pyramid. Oh, well, too bad. <laughs> yeah, so she's just, you know, she's useless. She doesn't have a place in my life. You gotta get rid of things that aren't serving you. Haven't you ever watched Marie Kondo? She said, you have to get rid of things that aren't serving you because they're just cluttering up your mental space. So I got rid of my therapist. I don't really think that that's what she meant by that. But, oh, I love Marie um, Kondo. I mean... <laughs> I... Okay. I feel like other people be watching me for the first time on your stream, I'm not, like, usually this deranged. <laughs> just in a mood today. Hey, I swear I'm I'm normal. <laughs> I'm normal until I'm not. Is that a Joker quote? Joker. I mean, it sounds kind of like something the Joker might so say. So there are th there are three Jokers: the the clown, the criminal, the Joker. Inside you, there are two jokers. <laughs> one is Jared Leto. One is the one from the musical. You are an incel. <laughs> I thought you were going to say one is from Persona 5. Bruh. <laughs> jo yeah, Joker. <laughs> I don't I'm the Joker, Joker have, baby. Like... I'm the Joker, <laughs> baby. I have That's a pyramid like. scheme, but it's more like 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 it's more of like a physical pyramid scheme. Everyone who pisses me off, I <laughs> I take one bone from their body and I put it onto the pyramid. And this is like a bone pyramid. Yeah, it's a it's a scheme okay. where I make a pyramid out of bones. You make a, okay, you make the period out of okay. You make the I said the period. <laughs> you make you make the pyramid out of bones. All right, step yeah. one. Step two profit how is this profitable uh i look at it and smile oh that's good and you know sometimes you just have to pay in things that enrich your heart and not your wallet name the yeah so then name the pyramid the bone zone <laughs> mr bones is wild mr ride. bones i'm trying to think of like a, a pun that includes pyramid and bone but i really can't uh the uh, pyramid the pyramid <laughs> pyramid in parentheses bone pyramid hey I... beater <laughs> what like, like like peter from family guy with the b emoji you don't oh. re you don't remember you don't uh, remember kind me? of you don't remember did you see okay on my when i was i was playing uh i started playing persona 3 portable on stream and my fucking chat convinced me to name my femc lois griffin Oh no. So like all the characters, you know, they use like fucking honorifics. And they kept being like, Lois Chan, it's time for school. <laughs> and like I couldn't stop Bruh. reading it in the lowest voice. I kept being like, Peter, Peter, I'm in the dark hour. Peter, I'm summoning my persona. Peter. Oh, no. Peter, I found my true inner self. I don't know what that voice was. I can't do voices. Peter. Peta, the horse. <laughs> it was pretty close. Yeah. <laughs> it's like the only accents I could do is fucking Lois Griffin voice and like a Russian accent. I can do Russian. I'm not gonna do it, but I can do it. You just have to take my word for it. I I had understandable. Other accents? I can't. I'm really bad at accents. I don't like try. I I just like talk. Uh, yeah. I mean, sometimes I would like to try for comedic effect, but then it usually it doesn't work. 
Yo, what's up, Vez? You're very late. What's going on? Uh, we're currently talking about the pyramid scheme. Yeah, we're making where, a pyramid scheme where we steal where, your bones. I, yeah, I scheme to take <laughs> one bone from everyone who slates me and okay, it's turn like, it into a well, pyramid. You know that thing um, where, like, th like, basically the scammer people are like, if every person who reads this sends me one dollar, like, you won't miss one dollar, but if a hundred thousand people send me a dollar, I'll be able to pay for my last year of college or whatever. So, you'll just be like, you won't really miss one bone, but if every person sends you a bone, you would have, like, a lot of bones, and they wouldn't miss it. Yeah, exactly. Like, it re it's really, like, a no-brainer, just send yeah, me a bone. Yeah, yeah, this is full plan, so... I mean, like, like you're you're clouded up. Like, you have a thousand subscribers. Like, if everyone who subscribed to Ezra and Domida Ch dot Real Corp, and like, you could have a thousand bones. Yeah, that's more than enough to make the entire. Pyramid. Yeah, you could make a pyramid out of it. Right so you make a pyramid yeah. out of the bones, and then like every subscriber, like they won't even miss it. So if you took a dollar from their wallet, they probably wouldn't even notice. Like if you took their bones, they'd be fine. It's just one yeah. bone. Like, even, like, a small one. Like, do you know how small some of your bones are? They're, like, really small. Right, like, you don't need all five of your toes. I mean, each toe has, like, three bones in it. Yeah, exactly. Like, uh, you so have, like, me, so like, many... You have, like, like, yeah. Three bones instead. Yeah, I mean, I think you have, like... You have, like, something crazy. You think you have, like, 30 bones just in your wrist or something. Like, you, like people have so many bones. It's like, you don't need all of those. Why is Big PP Energy trending on Twitter? Uh, I think Pomo is having her 3D debut. Probably. <laughs> you think right. so? OMG! You see at the the at the at the Niji Saji AR thing, uh, Albert is gonna sing "The World Hasn't Ended Yet" from Project Sekai. <laughs> Just so you know. Just just in case oh, you were he, wondering. Is he for real? Yeah, I think so. Like, that's what it said on the website. I, I, uh, like, I like, I like, I like Niji Sanji. There are definitely some Niji Sanjis that are very pug. Yeah. Yeah. I want to eat Alira's hair. Alira's hair? You want to eat it? Yeah. Yeah. It looks tasty. It tastes like blue raspberry or something. It probably does. Yeah, it, it probably tastes like um, tastes like, like it probably it probably tastes like a a blue airhead. Yeah, that's possible. I I think Selene would taste like grape or something, but like actual grapes, not like the fake artificial flavor. No, Selene tastes like a grape slushy. <laughs> like yeah, that that no, is. You might be right. You might be right. It is artificial grape, but like her hair is so bright. Yum yum yum. Me me devouring Niji Sanji members. Yeah. Yeah, if I eat them all, they have to accept my audition. That new one, uh, Marie Marionette, looks pretty edible. <laughs> I Kyo looks the most edible. He looks like cotton candy. He's got, like, blue and pink hair. Yeah, but, like, isn't he made out of printer or something? What? Oh! I don't think he's made like, out what's of printer. This deal? What's, what's, like, why is this stuff, like, a printer? I don't know. They just really went in on that CMYK color palette. I like it. I really I like the CMYK color palette. I can fuck with it. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty I really good like design. I really like Q. <laughs> yeah. Like it's funny. Yeah, like every time like they do the debut from Niji Sanji, it's like I pick one. There's like there's one that I think I'm gonna like just from like debut and then like a month later, it's like I've I've like decided on a different different Oshi. Like, I, I pick one, like, just based on design. I'm like, impress me. And then, usually I end up really liking someone else. But that's just the way it goes. And those are, like, a, a, like a couple of my, like, my favorite Niji Sanji members. Like, I hate their design. But I just like them. <clears throat> Shoe. <laughs> this shoe looks stupid, I'm sorry. Don't tell, don't tell, um, don't tell, uh, Rui and Xander. Damn, that's kind of messed up. Are you I hearing know. this, Vince? No! She's slandering your, slandering your husband. This is messed up. Oh, yes. I like, you know, Shu is, like, literally, like, one of my favorites. Like, I really like his, 
personality in his streams and stuff. I just, I think he looks kind of stupid. That's okay. I look kind of stupid. Like, I can... am stupid. <laughs> like, looks, looks smart is stupid versus looks stupid is stupid. Me for real. Ba <laughs> baby girl Yamino. <laughs> I just pulled up your chat and it's just baby girl Yamino. Yeah. It do be like that. Yeah. I'm still I'm still chugging this green tea. How much caffeine is in this? It doesn't say. Two servings per container. Who only drinks half a can? Uh freaks. Yeah, who the Buffoons, fuck drinks half a can? Bowls. Like drinks half a can of Arizona iced tea. It's like, yep, that's enough, and then puts it away. What the fuck? What the fuck is wrong with you? I want some M and M's. And the M and M eating ASMR. It's like really crunchy, so I don't like. To, I'm not gonna eat them right now. Yo, Pink Monster goes hard. No, though. Pink Monster is good. Swag win for the gays. <laughs> True. <laughs> the gays be drinking Pink Monster. I got sleeping. hooked on yeah. I got hooked for a while on this like the good ghost energy. They have this flavor that's oh, sour patch those. kid flavored. I yeah. can... <laughs> so I actually I worked I I I here's a little a little leak of my my real life a little bit, but I worked on a, a film set where we worked like we was weird to go in like through the night to try to get these shots we were shooting in the middle of the night. And the director was just giving everyone like five cans of ghost energy drink to like keep us on our feet because we were trying to film this movie in like 13 days and he would just be like go like you're not going to sleep take ghost and go in my car go in the back of my car i've got 40 cans of ghost energy take one of those and uh, get back on the set i'll be like oh, uh, and then i got like addicted to them for like a couple months and i think really I, good. I, like I don't know if that's workplace really abuse it's okay i wasn't getting paid Damn. <laughs> That's like <laughs> I just poured it. I just poured it down my throat. I'm dying. <laughs> oh no. I died. Oh, no. When I die, put oh, my no. bones on the top of the pyramid. You can be like in the middle of the pyramid. No. Please don't die yeah. on stream. No, I plan on live streaming my death. What? <laughs> I fought well, like you know, I play it all, like if I'm gonna die, like I might as well do it on stream. I guess. Mm -hmm. So that way, like five years from now, you can be on like a VTubers who died on stream. Exactly. Number ten, Amanda, yeah, the Lord, Lord of, of Darkness. Darkness. See, there's literally like, there's no better way to be memorialized than to be on like a top ten list. But can you do? Can you do like the chills voice? Cause I feel like you would be really good at it. Like, like number 15 burger king <gasps> for i knew it Are you you kind of sound like him the last thing you'd want <laughs> in your burger king burger is somebody else's foot fungus but as but it as turns, it turns out, out that might be that exactly might be right <laughs> words it's like my YouTube would take down your channel before I die? No, because I'm a VTuber, so you wouldn't like see it. Like it, it's not like a snuff film. Like, what if I died silently? It's like you know that that Germa bit. It's the like the 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 uh, peep the horror, where it's like Germa dies on stream and they leave the stream running for seventy two hours in honor of his memory. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I'm talking about, or am I just saying crazy shit? I think I do. It's like he's like peep the whore. <clears throat> I'm not gonna drink this so fast because it made me die. F. Unfortunate. No, I'm fine now. Just went that went down the wrong the wrong pipe. I haven't actually watched that many of the Chills videos. Like, I just kind of know about Burger King foot lettuce. That's the only one I know about. I mean, I've seen some of them because I have a friend used to have, a friend of mine used to have like watch 
parties, like, on Discord, just be like, we're watching five hours of chills. Oh, it was pretty goofy, silly. That is pretty wacky. It's pretty, pretty goofy, pretty, pretty humorous. Pretty silly. Yeah, you need to play Project Set Guy. Because you're, like, good at rhythm games. I am good at rhythm games. Yeah, and Project Set Guy is way easier than Project Diva. I think it's is just, it? I think it's just by, yeah, it is. I think it's just by nature of existence, like, the fact that it's, like, a touchscreen-based game, it's a lot more lenient with timing and stuff, just because, like, the inputs are kind of slower, because you essentially do it with your thumbs and stuff. You should play Persona Dancing on stream. I would love to play Persona Dancing on stream, but, um, I'd have to do it, like... I I don't have a way to stream for my PS Vita. And then I have Persona 5 and Persona 3 dancing on PS4, so I'd have to, like, hook up my PS4. Like, I could do it. It would just be quite a procedure. So maybe later. Maybe, it, like, it'll not be for a while. Like, maybe, like, over the summer. Let's go. Okay, I will tell you actually a secret. Um, it's not up anymore, but the, for a while, the oldest thing on my Twitch page was, like, you know PlayStation has that, like, built-in PlayStation stream thing? Mm -hmm. There's, like, there was, like, this really, really old clip of me and my sister sitting in my living room playing Persona 5 Dancing, and it was, like, the only thing on my Twitch for ages before I, I like, started being VTuber. And, like, for a while, it was still up, and then I had to take it down. Oh, no. Yeah, so now it's lost media. Me and Rebecca playing this fucking persona dancing. I mean, there's even, I mean, if you really go down a rabbit hole, there's a lot of Amanda lost media out there. But it's all gone now. Don't look for it and don't, don't dox me. Top 10, top 15 Amanda lost media. <laughs> Number 15. Persona 5 Dancing. You can stream with the Vita pretty easily. Plug the Vita into your PC. It's recognized as a camera in OBS. Is that true? What the fuck? I would not know about that. I need to research that. Because I love my PS Vita. I love my PS Vita. So it's an elite handheld, okay? You need homebrew? Oh, I don't have that. I'm scared to fuck with any of my consoles. Like, I don't have any, like, modded consoles. I have one of those, like, PSTVs. It's like a Vita, uh, but it's a console. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, I know that. Part of that. I got, I have the, like, Genki Shadowcast thing, which is very cool. Uh, you basically, you just plug, like, anything with an HDMI cable, with an HDMI port. You can plug in and it just like captures really easily. So I use that for like the PS2 streams, which is cool because you could do like the retro stuff. I really want to. I have Dance Dance Revolution Supernova uh, for the PS2, and I have a PS2 dance mat. I really want to do uh, like a DDR stream with it, but like I don't have like any way to track like 3D or whatever. So you just hear like, like the sound of my feet on the mat. That would be so funny. All the feet fans will love it. <laughs> the sound of my feet going... Because it's like a rubber mat, right? So it would just be like, slap, mm -hmm. slap, slap, slap. Like, it would sound like a seal. Hell yeah, I love seals. I love seals. Like, literally one of the animals of all time. Oh, without a doubt. Seals are so good. Wait, They're I'm gonna send you... I'm gonna send you a gif. <laughs> Don't ask why I had this so readily available. Me and the boys. <laughs> Me and the boys. Moment, this is the you know, I send this fucking all the time. Happy bars are based. Happy bars are okay. True. I happy bars are so good. What? I just. Mm, I wish I didn't know that they were like the world's largest rodent. Like if I could pretend that they were just like a subspecies of dog or something, I would be okay with it. But I can't shake the fact that they're a rodent. It kind of freaks me out. 
How does it matter? It's still, I don't know. Like, I just don't like ro I don't like Broden. Well, that's kind of a skill issue. I mean, it might be. I'm kind of um. I'm like my my like biggest fear is is snakes. Like if I like I like saw a video of a snake on Twitter and I like almost threw up. I can't stand snakes. It's so bad. Bruh. It's like it's like so dramatic. Like when I tell you I hate snakes, you cannot fathom the amount that I hate snakes. Well, they're just like silly little squiggly. No, guys. no, 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 no. No 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 I cannot if I I saw a video of a snake and I like had to put down my phone and walk away for like twenty five minutes. A little squiggly, a little. No no, it's not a little squiggly. Those things are fucking. Have you have you? They're some of them are poisonous. Some of them like constrict. I saw a video. My my science teacher in freshman year showed me a video of a snake eating an an alligator whole, and I started crying. A little like EBDB, you know, the kind of just like no, little no. Bubbles. One time when I was like six, I was over at my friend's house and she had a trampoline and we were jumping on the trampoline and then I saw a snake in her grass and it was dead, but I started crying so bad that my dad had to come get me and carry me off of the trampoline because I wouldn't walk in the grass because there was a dead snake. It was like a grass snake, it was like one inch long. I'm the biggest- I'm the biggest weenie in the world when it comes to snakes. I will, like, start sobbing. That's fucked up. <laughs> Bro, my- my sister right now goes to, like, the high school that I used to go to, and, like, the year that I left, they got a new principal, and the principal keeps snakes in the- in the office. I would have transferred. I would have left the school. What the fuck? I actually- well, someone in my chat accidentally chopped a snake's head off with a lawnmower. What the fuck? Uh, How do you? That's, that's wild. Kind of hardcore, oh my god! That's kind, of I'm kind of imagining that. Wild. The poison snake just wants to protect that... itself, and yeah. I mean, I don't know why this reminds me of it, but I was watching Get Out over the weekend, mm -hmm. the horror movie. Yeah. And I don't know if you've seen it. I have. But like, towards the beginning of the movie, when they first show up to the house, and the dad's still like putting on the act, mm -hmm. and it's, they they hit the deer, and they're talking about the deer, and he's like, "I think that you did us a great service by destroying one of the deer by killing one of the deer," <laughs> and he gives them a whole rant. That's you about like the snake lawnmower situation. Every time someone runs over a snake with a lawnmower, you're like, like "Yeah, I don't, baby." I don't like what snakes to die i just don't want them to be around me well i mean the less that are alive the less can be around you yeah but i mean they're just animals like i'm not saying that snakes are malicious in any way i just don't like them yeah i'm also like video i was watching like unusual memes comps and there was one where it was like a <laughs> it was like a big ass big ass constrictor <gasps> tangled up in like blinds and the guy's just like, <laughs> the guy's just like getting all up and close and he's like why bruh why literally just imagine like, that why cry. bruh <laughs> also like i'm you know where where i grew up like there's shit that will fuck you up. Like, it will, like, where I'm from, you don't want to fuck with snakes or scorpions. The scorpion, like, we have scorpions that, like, if that shit bit you, like, and you're, like, under, like, if you're, like, under 100 pounds, like, you were a kid and the scorpion bit you, you would just die. Did I grow up in Australia? No, I grew up in Texas. <laughs> oh. Yeah. My, my condolences. Yeah, thank you. At least Australia, you get, like, a neat accent. Yeah. Texas, you look good. Don't no one in no one in this no one no one in this chapter has helped me. I have a Texas accent, by the way. I don't. You really don't. Yeah. Some sometimes um people tell me I do and I don't. The thing is, like, you know how people joke about like a customer service voice? Yeah. Like when I used to work when I used to have to do customer service, I was on my customer service voice, I suddenly become like a thousand times more southern. Like, I'd do that thing where you don't say the G at the end of words. I'd be like, have a good evening. Oh, I just do that. <laughs> just do that? Just for funsies? Yeah. It was cultural yeah. appropriation? 
No, I just <laughs> don't appropriating want to appropriating letter. Texas culture. Too many calories, you know. That's one of the calories. <laughs> you measure just you measure words by letter. calories. Yeah, it's like one extra letter. That's like a that's like part of a French fry that I ate earlier. I want to keep it, you know. So the less words I have to say, the better. But customers, oh, you work at Best Buy, and I used to go to Best Buy. Then the Best Buy near me closed, and there's not really another one. Best Buy, more like worst Where's buy. My... I knew Got him. Wow, Best Buy, more like best bitch. True. <laughs> that's what they so call. True. That's what they call me on the streets. So true. Best <laughs> when, me, me when I'm on the on the streets. Me <laughs> the, Someone much as a based the... based buy, pretty based. More like cringe buy. buy. It's where you go to buy what? cringe. Me on my way to the cringe yeah. store to buy some cringe. They had you there. They had a picture of you on the cringe store. Like, I get that it's good for computer parts and shit and, like, electronics, but just go to Micro Center. Yeah, I want to go to Micro Center. It's a better deal. Like, it's a better deal, and it's also not Best Buy. Uh, yeah, I mean, like, I've, it's not like I've had a, a bad experience at Best Buy, but I've had really good experiences at Micro Center. Like, when I, when I was a little, little little baby buying my first computer, and then later when I, like, built one, like, they were very patient, very kind. They helped me build stuff. It's like, the people at Micro Center, you could feel that most, like, you know, a lot of times you go to a store or whatever, and like, clearly the person is just there working, like, doing their thing. They don't really give a shit, and which is perfectly fair for a, a, you know, like, minimum wage job. But the people at Micro Center clearly, like, really like computers. And, like, are at least, you know, knowledge, maybe not passionate, but at least very knowledgeable about the stuff they're selling. So, like, I really appreciate it. I've had very helpful, I've only had very helpful experiences at best buy i mean micro center micro center is great also like when i was trying to build my computer i got like a faulty motherboard and i was worried it was going to be a big hassle to try to exchange it but they was like the the manager came up to me like i walked in with like a, the box and i was like clearly looking around for like returns and like the manager guy came up to me he was like can i help you i was like yeah i think this motherboard is faulty and he was like very concerned he was like oh well we don't want you to have a faulty motherboard you come with me and yeah, i went with the manager and he got me another motherboard i was like damn it was like special treatment oh. yeah let's go molly they don't get many cute girls in the micro center tee hee no i'm kidding <laughs> that, might, that might actually be what it was <laughs> Don't say that. Bro, I've had the worst experiences. Um, this is a really funny story. I went I sometimes go to GameStop and one time I was like 14 and I was at GameStop and I was looking at this is funny because we were talking about it earlier. I was looking at copies of Darian Rampa and this guy was just in the in the GameStop and he was like, Oh, do you like Dagan Rampa? I was like Oh yeah, I, I like Daganropa, and he was like, "Oh, that's cool. I like it too." And I was like, "I thought that was the end of the conversation." And this is a really small GameStop, like it's not very big. So I kind of walked up to the, I walked up to the counter. I was gonna check out whatever I was getting, and he was like, "This guy." He was still standing in the corner of the, of the store, and he was like, <laughs> I'm, "I'm I'm dying remembering this." He was like, "One of my hobbies is break dancing." <laughs> I was like, what? he said that. I was like, oh, I was like, uh huh, that's cool. And he was like, check it. He started break dancing. <laughs> no way. Like, not like spinning or flips or anything. He was kind of just like, mm -hmm. like he was kind of just like doing like the running man kind of thing. He was like, he started dancing at me, like in my direction. I was like, uh huh. No way. He started break dancing. <laughs> I didn't know, like, what to say. It was just so awkward. He was just like, do you like Dig and Rampa? Yes. And then, like, a full like, a full four minutes later, like, my hobby is breakdancing. Oomps, 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 oomps. What? <laughs> now that's negative, Riz. <laughs> I mean, I admire the confidence to start breakdancing at a random girl in public, I guess. But, like, oh, my God. It was so awkward. Like, what do you say to that? Someone just starts breakdancing at you. I was like wow and then i left <laughs> i like I ran out like the you know like the dancing stick figure literally he was kind of like this was like before fortnite dancing was like a thing but he kind of did like the fortnite default dance now that i think about it he was kind of like do -do 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 yeah 
That I can kind of see that. This is the fucking funniest. Like one of the like it was so awkward at the time, but like looking back, it was so funny. <laughs> <laughs> the shout out to the guy who break danced at me in a GameStop. I will never forget you. God, I hope it's someone in one of our chats. Could you imagine? God, they like remember the that they did. Des it. Destiny has brought us back together. Breakdances <laughs> towards you. Oh, whoa, what's this? <laughs> That's actually insane. God, I, just, I wish yeah. that happened. <laughs> I would have so much fun in that moment. I, would, I mean, also, I, would... I was like, I was like 14. Like, if it was now, uh, I would have just like fucking laughed. But like, at the time, I was like, I was also being an awkward teen. I was like, ah. and like, my dad was in the car. <laughs> also had another funny GameStop experience at the same game. This GameStop is like really close to my house. So I went there okay. all the time. And <laughs> the year Persona 5 came out, my mom drove me to the GameStop. She parked the car and was like, okay, go in and get your stupid game. I was like begging her. I was like, take me to GameStop. Take me to GameStop. It's Persona 5 came out. And I went in and for the, oh, for the first and only time I have ever had this happen in a GameStop, the dude, the cashier fucking ID'd me. And I was like, I was like 15. He was like, you have to be 17 to buy this game. So I had to do like the walk of shame. I had to shamefully walk out to the car, get my mom to get off her phone, call she was like on the phone with her friend, walk into the GameStop and buy me Persona fucking 5. And she was like annoyed. She was like, you were just supposed to run in and get the game. Why do I have to get out of the car? Like, and I had to stand there shamefully while he checked out my mom. Bruh. It was like, who the fuck IDs people at GameStop? That's what I'm saying. I just wanted, just wanted my Persona 5. He was like, oh, you have to be 17. Who enforces that mm -hmm. shit? I mean, <laughs> nobody anymore because they don't. Apparently fucking, not. They don't, they don't ID you on PSN. You go on. Yeah. Buy whatever you fucking want. I, mean, I guess Steam has like an age thing, but like every time I just write that mm -hmm. I was born in 1984. Just yeah, just put like a fake year if you're not old enough. Like, I mean, I just like yeah. It's like who's who's checking like, it's that? Breaking stuff? TOS or whatever, but like what are they? Really yeah, what are they gonna do? Fucking for, arrest me? Like what? The GameStop employee almost didn't sell me Nocturne HD because I was 17 and he thought, I don't even think Nocturne HD is 18 plus, isn't it like T no, for it's, teen? No, it's M17. It should be 17. It's also like, it's also like not even violent. Like, what the fuck is in, like, I don't even think Nocturne has that much like blood. I don't know, it has some messed up imagery in it. I mean, it's like, yeah. Enough, but it's like... I don't know, like, you know, I mean, like, literal, like, 12-year-olds play Persona, okay? <laughs> like, the baby oh, shit. Ew. I can't believe I got ID to buy Persona 5. And I was, like, so embarrassed. I don't know why I was as embarrassed as I was, but I was very embarrassed. I was like, Because ah. I didn't lie, I was like, I was more afraid of confrontation. I was like, oh, okay, bye. And then I went to go get my phone. <laughs> Like, I felt like, I don't think, I'm sure I just imagined this because I was like a self-conscious kid. And I was like, I, I was like, in my brain, I was like, this guy probably hates me. And now he's like judging me while my mom buys me Persona 5. I literally don't think he gave a shit. In my experience, when someone is enforcing rules that seem really arbitrary like that, it's probably because their manager told them to. Like, they probably don't care. It's just that they're worried of like get their manager getting mad at them. Like, I worked at an ice cream place, and we had all these stupid arbitrary rules of, like, how much chocolate chip topping you get if you get chocolate chips, or like, don't put too much chocolate chips. And, like, I didn't care to put as many chocolate chips as you want until my manager told me to stop. So, it's probably just a matter of listening to the manager instead of, like, him really caring about my mental well-being if I dared to be scarred for life by Persona 5. Actually, maybe he was right. Maybe he shouldn't have given it wait, to me. Hold on, wait a minute. I think maybe he was spitting facts. <laughs> yeah, maybe I think it gave me phone. permanent brain damage. Yeah, something <laughs> Damn. in that game, man. Something in that disc. There's like an alternate and like in an alternate reality where my mom was just like, No, I'm not going into the GameStop, just get in the car and I just drove away without a copy of Persona 5 that day. We probably wouldn't be here.
There's like an alternate reality where I'm like a cool Chad and I'm normal. It was Goro Akechi. It's Goro Akechi. Goro Akechi. Who was Goro Akechi? The ma the employee? It was Goro Akechi? The employee, yeah. He's like, do not buy Persona 5. <laughs> I'm like, it's like, you know that, that, that meme with the like, the little like mm -hmm. cartoons where they're, they both reach for something and then he's like, I think the original is Hatsune Miku. He's like, ah, Hatsune Miku. That would be me if Goro Akechi is selling Persona 5. I'd be like, oh, Goro Akechi. He came out of the game to tell me not to. Isn't that what Five Nights at Freddy's is about? Like, William Afton comes out of the game and is like, do not buy Five Nights at Freddy's. Yeah. <laughs> this is the FNAF lore. Yeah, and then he, like, stole my chips and won't leave. He's just chilling in the corner. Purple <laughs> motherfucker. What? <laughs> He's just sitting in the corner being Orple. Yeah. Why he Orple? Why he Orple? Then I do genuinely like, want to know days. why he Orpal. I've heard various reasons that he's Orpal. I think there's not one. I think he just is Orpal. Oh, he's just Orpal. Yeah. Just like me. True. You were the man behind the slaughter. That's I up. kind of was the man behind the slaughter, not even gonna lie. F. I'm no, not F. It's a W. Top. Being the man behind the slaughter is W, all right? How's that? How's that a dub? Explain. Because I slaughter and I was behind. I, yeah, this is valid. <laughs> yeah, I can't. I can't disagree. Exactly. Was I also behind the bite of eighty seven? Of course. Wait, look, I'm about to bite a bite of eighty seven. As we're ready. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> they fuck. Oh shit! It's my flip them upside down. How do I fix this? Command Z. I put him uh, there, there, back. <laughs> Bite of 87! Hello? Hello? Oh, I thought you died. You should have left them upside down. I can, t I can turn them upside down again. One sec. -y. Yeah, turn me upside down. Oh, horizontal? Yo, horizontal? That's how I'm about to be after the stream. I'm about to... <laughs> <laughs> me too where, sh where should i put you where do you, you want to go this is so much power now that i have this little picture of you i could put you over my fire like i'm burning burn, me, like, burn at the stake like something. a witch put me on like a minecraft bed i don't have a minecraft bed well skill issue i can't uh if i try to add a picture to obs while i'm streaming it will just fucking crash oh I don't, I don't know. Like, I have to get the pictures before the stream, or it will just, like, it'll just disconnect for a second. Like, it will just crash entirely, but, like, the stream will go down for a second. It's happened to me 1,000 times. I don't know. It's like you're dissecting Ezra for biology class. I am. Yeah, you're, like, on the, you're on the operating table right now. Oh, oh no. Can I, can I stretch? Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Look at my stream right now. Can you see it? Uh, let me let me find it. I flattened you. You're flattened. Yo, yeah, you got pressed by the hydraulic press. Oh my god, I fucking love those hydraulic press videos. <laughs> Where? Uh, there it is. And then I click the VOD. <laughs> They don't know. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> Why do I look like that? And you got squished by the hydraulic press. Obviously, I, I said that. Oh, that's right. I got turned into Paper Mario. <laughs> what if I make wide as? God, I fucking love photo manipulations. The best. Wide. Expand. <laughs> oh my god, you're too big. <laughs> When you become when you become pissed, you get so so big. Hey, ah! jump, jump scare. As your jump scare. Oh, now you're gone. Okay, I think that's about right. There we go. Okay, you're back on the table. <laughs> As, yeah. Ezra stretches over. Wide Ezra can't hurt you. Wide Ezra. <laughs> I could be wide. 
Hello? This what y'all want when you say you want a thick GF? This what you're after? Yes. <laughs> Damn, need me a bitch who's wide. Ah, I keep teleporting. That was the last of my iced tea. Oh, what? why did you make me so wide? <laughs> Smile. <laughs> this is like genuinely terrifying. What is this? Where is the power wash? We finished power washing a while ago. Now we've just been fucking around. Sorry for the sorry for the false advertising. We're literally just like hanging out. Yeah. Yeah. It's been long enough. I'm probably about. Yeah, to you gonna go sleep. Head to head. Okay. Good yeah. night. Good yeah, night. I'm gonna end stream. I don't know if you're in stream or not. Yeah, I'm gonna end it. Okay. At, goodbye, at chat. chat. Goodbye. Bye, uh, goodbye, my man. chat. Goodbye, Ezra chat. Uh, Bye, uh subscribe chat. to Ezra. Subscribe to Amanda. Hee <laughs> hee. Okay. <laughs> All right, tee hee. Yeah. Tomorrow's Saturday, so I'll probably publish my schedule tomorrow. Hee <laughs> hee. Okay. Uh, hell yeah. yeah, I'm responsible like that. Okay. Yeah. Bye bye. Bye bye.